million five hundred seventy one thousand five hundred eighty four. Secretary Lorenzana, do you confirm this? Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, I confirm that, sir. Okay, we, can you we will submit, we will submit uh, documents to okay. support we, this. We, we will. I am asking for the submission of documents. Yes, sir. As input to your committee, okay. para we can we can reconcile this. Yes, sir. Okay, that's the sixth to us. The seventh to us. Whereas on 18 August 2016, Department of National Defense Secretary Delfin N. Lorenzana signed the notice of award in favor of Hyundai Heavy Industries after the South Korean company has been declared the lowest calculated response bidder, LCRB, for the project. GRSC was disqualified for failure to meet the net financial contracting capacity, NFCC, requirement of the project. HSI or Hyundai received the notice to proceed from DND on 13 December 2016, and according to Hyundai, the 2,600 ton ships will be delivered by 2020. Secretary Lorenzana, do you confirm this? Confirm, Mr. Chairman. Again, please submit the supporting documents. That yes, will support your uh, reply. Yes, sir. Number eight, whereas. Whereas, Navy Flag Officer in Command, Vice Admiral Ronald Joseph Mercado allegedly resisted the DND's implementation of the 16 billion project to acquire the frigates. Mercado, I'm reading the resolution, huh? Mercado supported the Philippine Navy project management team stand on the issues against Hyundai Heavy Industries. Is uh, Vice Admiral Mercado here? Vice Admiral Mercado, do you confirm this? On the second sentence that I supported the Philippine Navy project management team, that is correct, Your Honor. On the first sentence, with, it states that I resisted. Well, anyway, it says allegedly. Yes, Mr. Chair, I confirm it. Uh, uh, can you, for the benefit not only of the committee, but for be the benefit of the ultimate beneficiaries of uh, these policies. It says here Mr. that, uh, may I read, can, can Mr. You, Chair? Can you, yes. We're asked Navy Flag Officer in Command Vice Admiral Ronald Joseph Mercado allegedly resisted the DND's implementation of the Philippine, of the 16 billion project to acquire the frigates. I did not actually resist the implementation. In my uh, PowerPoint presentation later on, uh, Mr. Chair, I'm going to show uh, my actions pertaining to the implementation of the frigate acquisition project. Yes, uh, we, we appreciate that because uh, the chair cannot imagine how, how you resist something like this. No? Precisely. You, you, you have to qualify that. Anyway, so again, it, 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 okay. I'm not confirming the first line. Okay. I'm yeah. confirming the second sentence. We're trying to reduce this to yes or no so that we can pave the way for subsequent yes. questions. No on the first, yes on the okay. second. Okay. Okay. So supporting documents, any corroborating uh, statements that will support your re response to the question of the uh, please do so. No? Mr. Mr. Chair, uh, yes. just a question. Following yes. the uh, opening statement of Secretary Gasmin, will I be given a chance? Y yes, of course. Yeah, we're just managing this. We're laying the premise, no? the groundwork. Thank and you, Mr. Chair. And we're bound by the resolution. Thank okay. you, Mr. Chair. Fair Mr. enough, uh, Arvind Mercado? Yes, sir. Okay. Mr. Thank Chairman, you. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Uh, sir, can we also go up, uh, provide uh, in, uh, supporting documents for this uh, number eight for us, specifically on the first uh, statement that uh, Vice Admiral Mercado resisted the DND's implementation of the of the project. Yes, Secretary Lanzana. Uh, yes, sir. Keep them coming. Yes, sir. Okay, so that uh, your committee will sort them out. Okay. Number nine, whereas, whereas on 18 December 2017, Vice Admiral Mercado, who was supposed to serve as Philippine Navy Chief until March 2018, has been relieved from his post through a verbal directive. In a news conference on 20 December 2017, DND Secretary Lorenzana said the decision to fire Mercado was his. Again, I'm reading from the resolution. Mercado was replaced by Reed Admiral Robert Empedrat, 
the AFP Deputy Chief of Staff for Reserve and Retiree Affairs. Okay, first, Vice Admiral Mercado. Yes or no? Do you confirm this? Again, on the first line, uh, again, uh, partially yes, because it's, uh, because it's not a verbal directive. It was just a text uh, message sent to me. A text message? Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. Now, let me ask Secretary Lorenzana. Secretary Lorenzana said that the decision to fire Mercado was his. Mercado was replaced by Rear Admiral Robert M. Pedrat. Confirm? Confirm, sir. Okay. Rear Admiral M. Pedrat is here? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. Do you confirm that you replaced? Yes, sir. And you were the AP Deputy Chief of Staff for Reserve and Retiree Affairs? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Secretary Lorenzana, no? let me ask a quick, yes, quick question. Chairman. You can make this submission. How do you relieve people in the military organization? Uh, because if you listen to media, uh, may mga words na unceremoniously. Uh, is it in the law or in the AP regulations that uh, there must be a ceremony when you relieve people? Uh, yes, sir. I think that is the, that is the traditional uh, the custom, tradition. the traditional custom. But uh, people will relieve before uh, quickly and uh, without any ceremonies. So, in the case of Admiral uh, Mercado, he was unceremoniously relieved because there was no ceremony. Maybe okay. that's why it's called uh, unceremoniously we, relieved. We, but, but the ceremony is tradition, not prescribed. Yes, sir. By okay. Yes, sir. So, so, without proper celebration, you can relieve people? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm. Okay. Uh, clear. Okay. The tent, whereas, whereas the Philippine Navy's contract with Hyundai stipulates options between Hanwha Thales of South Korea, a subcontractor of Hyundai and Tacticos Thales of Netherlands, to provide ito ngayon, the combat management system, or CMS, for the warships. Mercado allegedly insisted on tapping Tacticos Tales to install the combat management system on the two frigates because of the dissolution of the Hanwha Tales Consortium in July 2016 before the contract with the HSI was signed. However, HSI, referring to Hyundai, wanted to use Hanwha Systems, the subcontractor that replaced Hanwha Tales. Now, uh, Vice Admiral Mercado, you are mentioned again here. Confirm, deny. Confirm, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, again, the request of the chair, no, the committee, just uh, make the necessary submissions to support this. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Eleventh, whereas, whereas has published in various news reports to address the issue with the Philippine Navy Project Management Team, Secretary Lorenzana allegedly formed a steering committee headed by DND Under Secretary for Finance, Munitions, Installations, and Material, Raimundo Elepante, which submitted a resolution affirming Hyundai's selection of the combat management system provider. I will ask now again, Secretary Lorenzana, confirm. That is confirmed, Mr. Chairman. Okay, again, submission. We will submit the necessary documents, sir. Is Yusek uh, Elepante here? Yusek Elepante, do you confirm this? Confirm, sir. Uh, we will submit, sir. Thank you. Second to the last, whereas, whereas according to the DND report, the Philippine Navy submitted to DND its position paper on the selection of the combat management system in October 2017. Secretary Lorenzana then instructed the AAP to proceed with the implementation of the project pursuant to the provisions of the contract with HSI or Hyundai. Secretary Lonsana. Confirm, Mr. Chairman. Okay, and we will submission. submit the necessary documents. So, last. Whereas, in the first week of December 2017, the steering committee headed by Undersecretary Elepante was dissolved. There have been allegations that the formation of said committee in the first place violated the Government Procurement Act. Very serious ito. It violated the law which does not provide for the creation of a steering committee, but for a technical working group to serve as the technical arm for the bids and awards committee composed of technical, financial, and or legal 
experts. That's the last to us. Secretary, uh, wait, before Secretary Lorenzana, no? Okay, Secretary Lorenzana, confirm. Yes, sir, that's confirmed, but uh, the steering committee is only, uh, was only for to resolve the dispute between the CMS. Not, it is not to uh, discuss uh, technical specifications of the ship. Okay. Uh, we, will, we will submit the uh, documents, sir. Okay, you, Secretary Elefante, confirm. Uh, no, sir. Uh, it does not violate the uh, modernization. Confirm, sir. <laughs> but uh, no, it does not violate uh, the Government Procurement Act since the steering committee's purpose, which is in the department order, which is different from the task of the technical working group, the technical arm of the Beach and Guards Committee, sir. And uh, we will submit, sir. Okay, uh, thank you. Now, before uh, we proceed, in order of arrival, I will uh, reiterate this, giving uh, each senator seven minutes to propound their questions uh, without prejudice to the preparatory statements. No? Senator Laxon, Senator Soto, Senator Ejercito, Senator Villanes, Senator Binay, Senator Villar, Senator Pacquiao, Senator Subiri, and Senator Hontiveros. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, for your initial responses. I now turn you over to the vice chairman of the committee, for his opening statements and his questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Our career ends when we retire. Our character stays up to the day we die. My interest in this issue at hand, uh, Mr. Chairman, lies on my being an author and the principal sponsor of the revised AFP Modernization Law, or RA-10349, sometime in 2012 in the 15th Congress. Also, I feel for those whose reputation may have been solid after being accused based on some tenuous allegations in relation to the 18 billion peso fund allocation initially earmarked for the frigate acquisition project of the Philippine Navy and the AFP to be sourced from 75 billion peso appropriations for the revised AFP modernization program. I myself had been vilified like nobody's business in the past, so I can easily relate to them as a matter of experience. Upon the other hand, I join every taxpayer in this country in condemning those whose insatiable greed always gets the better of them and will do whatever it takes to pursue possible criminal charges against those to be found involved in the Sinanigan, if any. I did my own investigation, as I always do before attending a Senate inquiry like this one today, and it was easy to conclude that something went wrong with an otherwise noble, noble endeavor to modernize our Navy fleet. To set the tone of this inquiry, let me ask Vice Admiral Mercado. But before I shoot my first question, may I state for the record that I had asked about you and your service record and reputation, as it is my habit to do so before I confront a resource person in our Senate investigations. You have a pretty solid service reputation respected by peers, superiors, and subordinates. Based on my initial findings, it is quite difficult for me to doubt your integrity. I hope I will not be proven wrong in the course of this hearing. Back to my question. During the entire process of the frigate acquisition project, did it ever occur to you that Secretary Bongo may have had any personal interest even on behalf of his principal, the Commander-in-Chief and President of the Republic, Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Yes or no? Mr. Chairman, may I be given the opportunity to read my opening statement because my opening Please statement... Please answer my question first. If Secretary Bongo... Did it ever occur to you in the uh, course or in the entire process of this FAP, Frigate Acquisition Project, may have had any personal interest, or even on behalf of his principal. That's no, answer. Your Honor. Thank you. Yeah, you may expound on your, on your answer. Vice Admiral Mercado, please proceed. Honorable Chairman and members of the Senate Committee on National Defense and Security, a pleasant morning and mabuhay. Huya to all other Navy sailors. I would like to thank you for conducting this investigation in aid of legislation in order to ferret the truth concerning the frigate acquisition project, which I consider 
as the most significant procurement project and a giant leap in the capability in the history of the Philippine Navy. Before I was relieved as a flag officer in command, I have diligently served the Philippine Navy in various capacities. I was the commander of the Assault Craft Force and then the Offshore Combat Force of the Philippine Navy. I had operational stint as the commander of Naval Forces Central in Cebu. At headquarters Philippine Navy, I was the chief of naval staff for a year before I became the vice commander of the Philippine Navy. I became the commander of Philippine Fleet before I became the commander of Western Command in Palawan. As FOIC PN, I take pride in saying that with the efforts of all fleet and marine units and personnel, the Philippine Navy was rated by the AFP Inspector General as the best performing major service command for calendar year 2017. Since calendar year 2013, I have handled other Philippine Navy pro modernization projects to it, the multipurpose attack craft Mark III with missiles projected to be completed this year, the Del Pilar class frigate upgrade project, and the Sinto class patrol vessel combat systems upgrade. On December 18, 2017, or less than three months prior to my retirement, I was surprised to learn that I am being relieved of my post as the flag officer of command of the Philippine Navy, allegedly for insubordination and for insisting on palace tacticos as the combat management system for the Philippine Navy Brigade. Please allow me to set for the records that I have never disobeyed any lawful order of my superior. I take pride in and treasure my profession the way I do to my name, my family, honor, and reputation. In my entire service to the armed forces of the Philippines and the Philippine Navy in particular, I have never been accused nor convicted of any malfeasance, misfeasance, and or nonfeasance in the performance of my functions. As regards the issue of insisting on Thales Tacticos as the combat management system of the Philippine Navy Frigate, I vehemently deny this allegation. In the first place, how did Thales Tacticos become involved in the Philippine Navy Frigate Acquisition Project? I will explain later in my PowerPoint presentation that it was HHI or Hyundai the winning supplier of the frigate acquisition project that offered Thales Tacticos to the DND Philippine Navy during the bidding process. My PowerPoint presentation will provide you more particular details on this issue as well as other issues involving the frigate acquisition project. Because it was the first question asked of me and having been pestered by the media so many times, let me reiterate that as regards the January 2017 letter that was given to me by the Secretary Lorenzana, Secretary Bongo never approached me to inquire about the frigate acquisition project, neither did he make any form of communication to influence my decision making as the end user and flag officer command of the Philippine Navy. Your honors, as my closing statement, I would like to thank this committee for providing a venue to present information on the frigate acquisition project. I am one with you in ensuring that the men and women of the Philippine Navy is provided with the right warship that they can deploy, operate, and maintain to deliver its mandate to protect our seas. As a former FOIC, and now just a senior Navy officer, it is my duty to help the Philippine Navy maintain its course in building a strong and credible Navy that our maritime nation will be proud of. Again, thank you, sirs, and mabuhay. Thank you, uh, Vice Admiral Mercado. May I proceed, uh, Mr. Chairman?
Please proceed, uh, Senator my, my next question is addressed to HHI, Ms. Sandra Han. Are you representing the Hyundai Heavy Industries? Sandra Han, not Sandra Kam. <laughs> My, my question is, as early as 2015, Hyundai Heavy Industries has been listed as an improper business entity no? ever since and banned from participating in tenders for state-led public projects for two years. In fact, it started in 2013. Right? Uh, it is in relation to the country's nuclear power project in the United Arab Emirates. And an executive has been convicted uh, in the said case. Now, though it filed a court injunction and annulment of restriction, it lost in the first trial in 2015. And the appeal was rejected in August of 2017. Even the Korean Supreme Court ruled with finality the suspension of HHI. Why did you not disclose this to the Philippine Navy, to the DND, and the AFP? Your Honor, yes, I am representing uh, Hyundai Heavy Industry at this moment. Uh, I hereby to authorize to make uh, any statement of the question. If please, you may, please answer my question first. Yes. Why did you not inform? Or why did HHI not inform the Philippine Navy, the AFP, the DND that you were banned by a lower court in South Korea? First of all, we didn't have any blacklist in our country. And second of all, and nobody was informing to uh, submit any kind of uh, the documents on that and third, and that we didn't have any uh, alerts of the, uh, this kind of, uh, the, uh, what's it, the uh, Korean law is not uh, following. And that we, uh, uh, the point is here that uh, we didn't me. have. Do you have an interpreter? Uh, no, sir. Maybe we, uh, you know, we're having difficulty understanding each other, because my simple is very. My question is very simple. Yes, no. Paul. Oh, pala. <laughs> because it's a, it's a matter of record. Even in South Korea, it's all over the papers. You know, it's all over the uh, the news. It was banned by the CAPCO. However, the Supreme Court was uh, determined the decision and efficient in December 2017. Therefore, we didn't have any uh, obligation to inform to the Philippines. But you have been convicted or there Sir, was an adverse Your position Honor, we didn't have any blacklist at that time. So there was a case pending and in fact, the lower court already ru ruled adversely. Uh, Your Honor, as a part, I know that we didn't have any information, sir. Anyway, you didn't have any information? Uh, we didn't uh, get any information on this matter, and we didn't have a but blacklist. Most, most of that all South Koreans knew at the time that you were facing a suspension. And it was only about, because you were, uh, actually you were appealing the case, right? But there was already a decision rendered by the lower court. And I would like to throw the same question to the uh, uh, defense establishment. Did you conduct due diligence in this regard? Uh, Did, sir, you know? Did you know when you were no, sir, negotiating uh, with Hyundai? I think uh, that could be answered by the uh, original back, sir, the Benson Rebounds Committee, because when we when we assume office, uh, we are just about to off, uh, award the notice of award and sign the contract. But all the, this time it was... Yes, yeah. uh, uh, Secretary Lorenzana. Yes, sir. Even before you signed the contract agreement on October 24 of 20, 2016, and before that, uh, in August of 2016, you signed the notice of award. Yes, sir. Could you not have, you know, refrained from 
uh, signing the notice of award and the contract agreement if you had you uh, conducted due diligence in this regard? No, sir. We did not know about this uh, so blacklisting. You did not know? Yes, sir. Uh, we just pre we have uh, we just presume that uh, the, uh, the the previous back uh, did their due diligence and just we are they're just continuing their job. So there's no there was no due diligence because if you if you had due diligence if you did due diligence may heads up may uh, ano to, di ba? May uh, may alarm ito. We we, uh, we just uh, lag. We just, uh, uh, there's a presumption of regularity in the, uh, pre the process there because we're just continuing what uh, the previous BAC has uh, done and it's, uh, they've been doing it for the past two years. Question, yes, sir. what do you intend to do now? Knowing that they have been suspended by the Korean Supreme Court to engage in state-led state uh, or uh, uh, participate in state-led tenders in the uh, sh special ship and warship acquisitions, a specific unit, a ruling. But what do we, we intend to do now? I think, sir, we will still uh, implement the project because they are still capable of, of uh, doing the frigate. Question. Yes, sir. Why are you not implementing the project up to now? It is being implemented, sir, but uh, it has been uh, delayed for uh, three months already. It is being implemented, sir. The, the, we have people there already in Korea. Uh, owner's uh, team is already there uh, talking with uh, the uh, Hyundai people. So regardless of the issues that are, you know, cropping up now, you still intend to pursue Yes, sir, because it's a perfected contract, and uh, we sign a contract with them, and uh, we expect that the uh, frigate will be delivered on time uh, by sometime 2020, the first uh, frigate. Okay. We'll go to some uh, details. Ano? I'd like to ask Commander Bartolome. Being a member of the TWG, did you question the propriety of leaving the choice of the weapons to the HHI and not the PN as the end user? Do you confirm that? So what happened after? After your question. Can I explain, Your Honor, what happened during okay. that uh, workshop? Okay. Uh, during that workshop, Your Honor, uh, it was discussed that uh, HHI will select subsystems. So I do, did not agree with that. So I asked for the suspension of the meeting to ask for the HHI management and Navy leadership to talk what will be the decision for that. And uh, after that, that is no longer a technical issue. So it was referred to our uh, legal officer of the technical working group, sir. So what, was it resolved right there and then? Yes, sir. Uh, the, How was it resolved? The uh, legal officer um, said that uh, it is within the uh, the um, within the uh, law and uh, the um, and within the prerogative of the uh, of HHI to choose your weapons. Maybe, sir, the uh, legal officer, your honor, the legal officer can answer that because after I questioned Who is that the legal officer. Attorney Daano or? Ah, ikaw, ikaw pala, halika. Sabi ko nga kanina, umupo ka na dyan. You are uh, at Colonel Dayos. Yeah, please uh, explain. Uh, good morning, uh, Your Honors, Mr. Chair. Uh, during the workshop, uh, Your Honors, uh, we're in... Uh, uh, Hyundai and uh, representatives of the Navy were there to discuss on the formulation of the contract and other uh, attachments to the contract. We had a discussion regarding the makers list. And during that time, sir, uh, of course, I was asked by our chairman, uh, the FOIC uh, uh, Admiral Mer uh, Empedrad. Uh, Major Dayo, uh, Senator Lakson, before you proceed, can we ask the Comsec to administer the oath? S sir, I took my oath already. Okay. Thank you. May, may I continue, sir? Okay, sir. So during the time, sir, um, uh, we were drafting also the makers list. The makers list is uh, the list of uh, systems that will be uh, put in place to our frigates. Uh, we have to emphasize, uh, Mr. Chair, that uh, the list... Uh, Who makes the final maker list? 
The Philippine Navy or HSI? We were the one who drafted the maker's list. So the Philippine Navy? Yes, sir. So you have the choice of the weapons it or was, the subsystem? Uh, if I may uh, further yeah. explain, sir, uh, the list of uh, items that were included in the maker's list were the items submitted during the SOBE, which were declared past, and which were also uh, evaluated by the post-qualification team during our conduct of post-qualification. So, so we, were not we were not allowing any addition to the items that were considered already. Only the, the choice was given to HSI in selecting from among those that were submitted during the SOBE and considered during the post-qual. We were not allowing any addition, sir. What is your basic reference uh, dito sa inyong uh, uh, maker list? Yung uh, joint uh, communications, electronics, information, systems board resolution, di ba? Uh, 01052216. Is that correct? That is your basic reference, di ba? Yes, sir. There was a board resolution last February 5 of 2016. Ito yung J, uh, JSE or JCEISB. And this is your, sabihin natin, Bible pagdating doon sa tinatawag na combat management system. By, by the way, I'd like to ask uh, Yusek Elefante, no? being the head of the uh, steering committee, what do you know about uh, CMS? Yes, sir. Uh, the CMS, sir, is uh, the combat management system wherein uh, all electronically operated uh, system, like for example, uh, the missile system, the communication system is uh, integrated uh, with that uh, kind of uh, system, sir. In other words, this is the heart and soul. Yes, sir. Ito yung, kumbaga sa tao, ito yung five senses. Yes, sir. Kasi sa Navy, ang sabi nila, pag una ka nakita ng kalaban mo, tepo ka. You should remain invisible. Yun ang yung defense, hindi ba? And pag nagkamali tayo sa combat management system, mamamatay yung ating mga sailors. Is that correct? Uh, yes, sir. So, dapat tayo yung namimili ng, uh, ng maker list. Dapat yung items, talagang Philippine Navy yung ipaubaya natin doon sa end user. After all, sila mamamatay, hindi naman yung HHI. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I think I've consumed my, my uh, seven minutes, so I'll just go, I'll just proceed in the second and in the next round to give the others. Mr. Mr. Chairman, I only have one question, so I'll give my six minutes to Senator Lakson to continue because uh, we want uh, to be enlightened more. Senator Lakson, would you like to proceed? Yes, please, uh, Yosek Elefante. Yes, sir. Kindly enlighten us to, uh, some more to the CMS. Or anybody for that matter. I think, uh, Commodore Villa, you were also, you were once PMT head. Uh, yes, sir. I am yeah. uh, the Pakailatin former... Pakailatin mo nga yung uh, committee. Ano ba itong CMS? Ano ba itong uh, Link 16? Ano ba itong uh, uh, Joint uh, Communications Electronics Information Systems Board Resolution? Uh, sir, before I uh, uh, give the uh, details on the CMS, let me first thank the, uh, the Honorable Chairman for this in, uh, inquiry. Uh, this is a rare chance for the Philippine Navy. Uh, to uh, give what is uh, the real uh, issue on this uh, frigate program. And uh, this is also a rare opportunity for us, for the Philippine Navy, to have a brand new ship. I was once the uh, offshore combat force of the Philippine fleet, Philippine Navy, and I am in charge of the warships. And uh, right now, we are having difficulty maintaining our legacy vessel. And this modernization program is a major step for us, for the Philippines, to acquire a brand new ship. That's why uh, when I was the uh, uh, head of the project management team, we see to it that the pursuit of the Navy's interest is paramount. And related, please, uh, CMS is one of the contentious issues that haunted this uh, frigate acquisition program. The CMS is the brain of the warship. This integrate the sensors, communication, and the weapon systems. So ito po yung pinaka-brain ng lahat ng, uh, ng barko. And yung soul niya, or yung heart niya, is the machinery. 
Uh, ito yung nagpapatakbo ng barko po natin. And dun sa CMS, uh, meron po siyang sinasabi tayong tactical data link. Yung tactical data link, siya po yung nagbibigay ng common operating picture kung ano nakikita ng warship, yun ang nakikita ng eroplano, at yun ang nakikita ng uh, command and control sa base. So, so we, interoperability? Uh, yes, sir. Ito yung uh, para may coordination? Uh, common operating picture po, sir. Okay. So, yun po yung pinaka-brain at pinaka... Uh, uh, na Commodore Villiano, the permission of Senator Luxon. You are telling your committee, and we want the people informed about this, no? na walang problema dun sa platform, sa, sa barko, yung hal. Ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, yung sub combat managed, the subsystems, yung binanggit kanina ni uh, Commander Bartolome. Is this correct? Uh, sir, uh, actually, we are now in the critical design review. Or dito po yung stage kung saan lahat na design, drawings, or pinaka-blueprint ng frigate natin at yung capability na gusto natin, yung four dimensions of warfare, anti-air, anti-submarine, anti-surface, and electronic warfare, dito po natin i-integrate lahat ang plan. Nasa stage po tayo niyan. At uh, ang CMS is uh, just Robert, part of that. Sir. I'll go back to my question. I'll insist on this. So hindi mo pwedeng ihiwalay yung design ng combat management system dun sa barko mismo. It's an integrated system. Is that uh, what you're telling us? Yes, Mr. Chairman. So ang barko po ay isang you're system. You're designing practically an entire ship to respond to our needs. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Tama uh, po, Mr. Chairman. I'm sorry for interrupting. Please proceed. So, dun sa critical design review, isang part lang po itong CMS. At kung saan uh, maraming issues yung dumating. And I hope that the uh, uh, members of the other members of the project management team at well, the uh, can I elucidate it. Muna, no? Meron ka namang PowerPoint presentation siguro to further diba, expound on, on this uh, particular issue? Uh, mamaya? Sir, uh, uh, mamaya po sir. Okay. Anyway, uh, in fairness to Secretary Bongo, because we invited him here, I'd like him to respond to the uh, manifestation and the reply to my question, yung kay uh, Vice uh, uh, Admiral uh, Mercado. Uh, kindly respond to it, uh, Secretary Bongo. Secretary Bongo is uh, recognized. Please proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, before I uh, answer that, uh, Mr. Chair, can I give my uh, opening uh, statement? Gano uh, katagal, Secretary Goyong? Sir, mga three pages, pero medyo malaki yung font nito. Mabilis lang, sir. Okay lang. Basta okay. pumasok dun sa five minutes. Uh, please proceed. Thank you. To the Honorable Chairman, members of the Committee on National Defense and Security, fellow public servants, and all others assembled here, ladies and gentlemen, gandang umaga po. I speak before this committee primarily for the purpose of clearing my name and ultimately for the purpose of getting to the bottom of this free gate controversy so that the Filipino people may know the whole truth. Sa totoo lang po, sobrang hirap sagutin ang mga bintang wala ka namang kinalaman. I did not intervene in the acquisition of the two frigates by DND, nor interfere in the selection of its combat management system. That being said, I have no reason to cower and hide behind an executive session. I am ready and willing to face all these accusations in a public hearing. In fact, I have requested the Senate for a full-blown investigation on the matter. I thank the Chairman, Senator Gringo Nasan, for accommodating for a public and transparent hearing. Sa katunayan nga po, may interview ang isang senador na nandito ngayon at sinabi niya na wala akong kinalaman sa frigate acquisition. Sana po ay panindigan niya ito. Ang pinag-usapan po ngayon ay naging issue lamang ng maglabas ang Rappler 
at inquirer ng fake news. At sinabing ako po ay nakialam. Dahil ang lahat na ito ay nagsimula galing sa isang irresponsible reporting, I would like also to sincerely request the Senate to continue with the hearing and, and investigation on fake news. At baka po, pwede ninyo ipatawag naman ang Rappler and Inquirer sa susunod na hearing. At para naman matanong naman sila sa sinulat nilang balita. Hindi lang po ako ang biktima dito. Marami po tayo. Tapos na po ito sa panahon ng Aquino administration. Walang nabago. Walang binago. Walang nakialam. At walang pinakialaman sa kontrata. Pangit man pakinggan. Pero matatawag po ito na photo finish ang kontrata. Dahil hinabol po ito bago matapos ang Aquino administration. Inosente at idinamay lang po ako sa isyong ito upang siraan ang administrasyon ni Pangulong Duterte. We are being castigated for endorsing a complaint to the proper agency, a mere rutinary endorsement which is one of the thousands of complaints we endorse as part of PRD's agenda to open the gates and ears of Malacanang to all complaints against public officials and against the bureaucracy. Where else can the countless, helpless, and hopeless Filipino go if we close our doors to them. The thousands who have knocked our doors to elevate their concerns bear witness to the fact that this administration has been very receptive to their grievances. Malinaw po ang utos ng ating Pangulo na kahit noong mayor pa po siya ng Davao City, na lahat po ng mahinaing at reklamo na may laman ay dapat bigyan agad ng aksyon. This free gate project needs to be implemented now. When this country is faced with grave security threats. Labis na po kailangan ng Philippine Navy, sir, ang proyektong ito sa pagpatrolya sa ating mga karagatan. But this controversy is seriously derailing the implementation of this security measure. Perhaps this is really their intention to block the implementation of this important security program and ensure that this administration will fail. But we will not allow them to win. Because the truth is on our side, I am confident that the Senate will be a vehicle of truth than be used to advance other self-serving interests. We place our full trust in the Senate to put an end to this. Your Honor, ulitin ko lang po. Mahirap sagutin ang mga bintang. Wala ka namang kinalaman. Thank you, Your Honors. Thank you, uh, Secretary Go. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary uh, Bongo. Uh, kaya po nasangkot na pangalan nyo dahil do sa letter na inyabot yata ni Secretary Lorenzana kay Vice uh, Admiral Mercado, hindi po ba? Kasi nakasulat doon eh. Uh, sinasabi na mayroong dokumento na inyabot kayo. Tanungin ko lang si Secretary Lorenzana. Inyabot po ba sa inyo yung dokumento, yung letter ng Hanwa? Kasi in the said letter, ito sinasabi dito, yung Hanwa representative said, no? and if I may quote directly from, the, from that letter, ito yung parang complaint ng, uh, ng, uh, Han, ng uh, Hanwa representative. At the moment, there is no logic or justification 
on the prepared list of PN where, where seven equipment of Thales are included and so forth and so on. Si Secretary Bongo ba nagbigay sa inyo yung uh, dokumento na yun? Uh, sir, uh, hindi ko na matandaan kung siya nagbigay sa akin ito. But I found this in a stack of paper that uh, was uh, given to me in Malacanang. So I just assume that uh, it came from Bongo and uh, since uh, binasa ko and namakita ko na tungkol ito sa CMS, ipinasa ko naman kay uh, Admiral Mercado. Now, uh, I totally forgot about this paper, sir, kasi this was done in uh, January 12, 2017. Nung pumutok na lang ito nung January last uh, month, saka ko na nakita itong patpatil na ito na uh, meron pala akong pinirmahan na gano'n. I forgot about this because uh, it's just routine to let them comment. Ang problema ito, hindi naman bumalik sa akin si Admiral Mercado to report to me what happened to this. I never uh, get a reply to my instruction and uh, that's why I forgot all about it. Pero I did not receive this personally from him. But granting that uh, this came from him, it is just a white paper, sir. And it is not, wala namang nagsasabi rito na... Sir, but in fact, sir, lalo lang sana, medyo confused ako dyan sa instruction mo dyan eh. Oo nga, sir. Kasi while sinusustain mo yung HHI, hindi ba? Kailan matuloy na? Ba't pinariribat mo pa? The word ribata, sir, is ang ibig kong sabihin yun is report and comment. Hindi kasi ako lawyer kaya hindi ko alam ibig sabihin ng ribotal ko minsan eh. Ribotal pala, kontrahin mo yung isang bagay. Yeah, no, but what I'm trying to say is Di ba gusto mo mag-pustro na yung project? Kaya nga medyo yes, meron kayong nagkaroon kayo ng uh, misunderstanding na ni uh, Vice Me Admiral Mercado. Wala pa sir. Wala pa sir. Wala pa. Because this is just three months. This is three months after I signed the contract eh. Yeah. And you already because... signed the contract agreement. October 24. Yes sir. Yung letter na yan, January. January 12. Okay. So gusto mo na ipustro yung project. Ngayon nagreklamo yung uh, Hanwa. Pinariribat mo ngayon sa Philippine Navy. Hindi ba parang hindi ma-reconcile yung posisyon? I think sir, the rebattle there, the rebattle na pinag-sabihin dito is not to contradict whatever. Ang gusto ko lang gawin ng FUEC is to answer this paper o kung ano man lang concern dito in accordance with what is in the contract. Kasi alam niya, he was there all along. All the way from the start to the time that the contract was done, nandun palagi si Admiral Mercado. He knows the project. Yes, and I understand it was Rear Admiral Empedrad, who is now FOIC, who defended the position of the Navy, di ba? That you were batting for Thales Tacticos of Netherlands. Yes, Your Honor. But how come ngayon parang pinupus mo na Hanwa? Sir, I'm not pushing for Hanwa, but I still prefer Tacticos. However, Up to now. Yes, sir. However, the, the contract says that it is the, the supplier that will be have the sole decision to decide what system to be put in our fleet. Be, before the signing of the uh, draft or the contract agreement, bago mo papirmahan o bago nyo papirmahan kay Secretary Lorenzana, inis ka nyo ba mabuti yung uh, based on the minutes, ha? Kasi yes, I assume that there merong minutes yung uh, technical working group, yung September 26 to 30. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hindi ba may nasingit doon na hindi naman na-take up doon sa TWG? Sir, uh, doon, I, nag, doon nag-ugat yung controversy, yes, sir. hindi ba? Yes, sir. The so-called, uh, is it Annex K? Which was not taken up during the TWG, yes, but was inserted. Na sinasabi doon, na yun nga, hindi na Philippine Navy masusunod. Ang masusunod na, yung uh, provider na, yung supplier. That's not true, Mr. Chair, because... Uh, the result of the workshop... Uh, do we have a copy of the minutes? Who can provide the committee uh, a copy of the minutes of TD, TWG of September 26 to 30 uh, so we can compare it to the contract agreement? Yes, sir. Uh, we will including provide the you, access? We will provide you the minutes of that uh, workshop, sir. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I don't want to take uh, the time of, the, uh, of, our, uh, of our colleagues here, so I will uh, suspend my, uh, my interpellation. Thank you, Senator Luxon. Uh, Senator Sato, would you like to... Thank you. Yes, uh, I'll be very brief, Mr. President, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, most of the questions I wanted asked was uh, already answered by Secretary Bongo. Uh, so, um, may I just um, pick his mind 
and his experiences now. Uh, apparently, sa kwento ni Secretary Lorenzana, hindi naman si Secretary Bongo nagbigay sa kanya or galing sa opisina nila or something to that effect. So he assumed. Now, um, every now and then, alam ko your name is always being dropped. Uh, ano bang experience mo sa name dropping na ginagamit lagi yung pangalan mo, Secretary Go, Secretary Bongo, and even the President's name? Sir, gaya po, uh, Your Honor, gaya po sinabi, ng sinabi ng ating Pangulo, pag ginamit po yung pangalan niya, ginamit yung pangalan ng anak niya, mag sa mag-anak, kahit kami, pag ginamit po yung pangalan, we consider it denied. Lalo so, huwag pagbigyan. Oh, pagkakataon na po itong marinig since live po tayo sa TV. Sana po lahat ng mga gumagamit ng pangalan namin, denied na yon Kasi sa totoo lang po, wala namang maluloko kung walang magpapaloko. Maraming iba-ibang, alam nyo na, ginagamit yung pangalan namin. So, kahit saan po yan, at alam ng alam ng buong Pilipinas yan. So, huwag na lang po silang, huwag silang maniwala kagad. So, ito na ang pagkakataon nyo. At uh, naririnig tayo nationwide. Pag ginamit ang pangalan ni si Presidente Duterte o ginamit ang pangalan nyo, kung ano man yung deny. Opo, deny. Deny na kagad. Kasi po, hindi, hindi talaga po, hindi po mapawag si Pangulo na ginagamit yung pangalan in any government transaction. Any so, lahat na yan, ha? Customs, Opo, lahat. BIR, lahat. PAGCOR, lahat po. CSO, lahat po. Mas mabuti na yung narinig nyo na ngayon sa lahat ng concern agencies o department heads. Denied na kagad. Denied na nila kagad. Basta ginamit ang pangalan ninyo, Opo. pangalan ni Presidente. Denied. For, the, for the record. Uh, kahit na may mga note-note na ganyan. Wala po. Wala po. Alright. Kung may susulatan naman kami formally. Uh, Ay, kung sulat ninyo uh, normally, galing uh, talaga sa inyo, ibang usap. Saka, may kung kumpleto yan. Official, dokumentado. Official document okay. yung Pero communication. Yung mga name dropping. Uh, ito ang pinagsisimula natin itong chismis na ito eh. Kaya nga po. Oo. Oh, uh, anyway, um, also, I was uh, I was struck by by your statement na sinabi mo at uh, sa klase na narinig ko rito kila Vice, uh, kila Admiral uh, Mercado, Marso pa ng 2016, hindi initiated ito. Iba yung word na initiate eh. Iba meaning ng initiate. Ang initiate lang, eh, parang mga ini initiate na project ng mga senador, ng mga congressman, gano'n lang yun eh. Pero ito, talagang sinimulan yung project. Di po ba? Ganun ang intindi ko. March 2016. Perfected June. First week of June. Okay? Nandito yung... December 24, 2013 pa raw. Uh, Inumpisa na. Alright. Yun ang initiate, siguro. My question now, is my final question Mr. Chairman is to the Department of Justice ano in, uh, I'm just uh, 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 lang ako ito ba y you can answer this now or perhaps you can uh, uh, review ano if uh, my question could be answerable right now or later hindi ba ito kung, kung March of 2016 Pasok na ito sa election ban. Ah. Pasok na sa election ban. Ah. Bakit uh, natuloy hanggang June, first week of June? Isn't this a violation of the election law, uh, Secretary Aguirre? Uh, I have to research uh, more on started, that point, uh, um, Mr. Chair, uh, because a while uh, the ban st starts last, uh, in the early uh, 2017, I think there is yet no release. No, no, I mean uh, 2016 elections, eh. Before the 2016 elections, in eh, March 2016, ito, eh. Perfected ng first week of June. In other words, kung uh, whatever uh, uh, mid-March or, uh, or whatever time in sinimulan, it went on through the election period until June 1 to June 9 na sinabi perfected yung kontrata. So my question is, is this allowed? Or is this... this violate election law. Perhaps you can research on the matter Papa. and uh, the, the committee will be uh, uh, 
uh, appreciative of any uh, uh, answer and explanation later or perhaps with from, from the Comelec later on. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chair. You have no, Mr. no Chair. questions at this point. Uh, Mr. Chair, could we be given 10 days within which to submit to the Honorable Committee our study on the matter? Uh, yes, uh, Secretary Aguirre. Uh, before we... Mr. Chairman? Yes, Sir, Secretary Lorenzana. Uh, as I have requested a while ago when we, I, I came to you before the meeting, uh, I have your opening statement. Could we come in? I think after that we will have present a, a power, short PowerPoint presentation about the project, sir, so that the other uh, members of the committee will have an appreciation of the project. Pwede ba, sir? We will accommodate your request, no? but uh, le let me first yes, uh, go into uh, admin matters. No? After Senator Soto has prominent discussions, uh, will be Senator Ejercito, as I acknowledge the presence of the following senators. No? Senator Ejercito, Senator Escudero, Senator Tillanes. By the way, uh, Senator Pangilinan has expressed his intention to propound questions Kay Rob, Senator Trillanes. So number five, Senator Trillanes. Number six, Senator Binay. Number seven, Senator Villar. Number eight, Senator Pacquiao. Number nine, Senator Subiri. Senator Hontiveros. Senator Villanueva. Senator Angara. Senator Legarda. Senator Gordon. And Senator Gatsalian. That's almost the entire Senate. <laughs> but before we proceed, before I recognize Senator Ejercito, just an observation, Secretary Lanzana, no? Uh, Rear Admiral Lempedrat. Uh, this is to the chair a cause for concern. No? Sabi mo kanina, Robert, no? you, you still prefer Thales? Yes, sir. Uh, Pe pero dahil nasa kontrata na, yes, sir. you'll be forced to yes, sir. accept that. Because Please. I'm concerned with the frigate okay. to, uh, to be delivered and uh, to be Well, gentlemen, no? Uh, yes, no? This is precisely what we want to avoid. You know, we are on national television. Nanonood, pati yung mga... Yes, sir. Maybe personal natin. Yes, sir. Okay? And uh, we believe that our weapons system requirement should be end-user-driven. Yes, Ang Mr. Chair, Ang dating nito sa mga sailors natin is gusto ni Poy yung tales, pero dahil nasa kontrata na. Babalik tayo, Del, dun sa issue ng due diligence. Kung sinala nating mabuti ito para naiwasan proactively itong mga conflicts of opinion, then uh, uh, that's something for us all to think about uh, proactively. Okay? I just wanted to uh, call Mr. your Chair, attention to that because Mr. this is precisely what we want to avoid. Mr. Chair, if we, I may be able to present the PowerPoint presentation, sir, later. Yes, uh, yes I just sir, wanted to make that observation. No? Uh, yes, sir. Your Admiral yeah. Lembatrad yes, sir. and uh, Secretary Lorenzana. Okay. Uh, the Chair recognizes Senator Ejercito for his uh, questions. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'd like to uh, no, follow up siguro do sa linya po kanina ni Senator Laxon. Um, dito po nagkagulo lahat eh. Um, gusto ko siguro, siguro Secretary Lorenzana or anybody, probably our current uh, flag officer and command can answer, why did we allow the shipbuilder to dictate the configuration? Kasi dun, mukhang doon nagkagulo, Mr. Chair eh the choice of the CMS or the uh, combat management system. Ang nakakapagdaka, kumbaga, tayo ho ang end user, ang Philippine Navy should be the end user, they should have the choice. Kung ano po ang kanilang preference, dapat ho yun ang masunod. At hindi ho dapat ang shipbuilder. Yun lang po ang uh, akin din uh, pinagtataka, bakit ho nagkaganon? Secretary Lorenzana or probably uh, legal po you, natin? Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Uh, Yung uh, CMS po na yan ay uh, pinag-aralan po yun ng uh, Philippine Navy TWG. Ngayon, uh, pwede tayong mamili. Actually, uh, nung mag-submit itong uh, Hyundai ng dalawa, nag-submit siya ng dalawang systems, Tacticos of uh, Netherlands, then, uh, at saka yung uh, uh, Naval Shields ICMS ng Hanwa. Ito yung unang uh, lumabas na sa kanilang sobe. Now, according to uh, the, the, the contracts natin, we are only talking to Hyundai. Isa lang ang kausap natin dito, isang entity lang. Sila na ang bibigyan natin ng, uh, we allow the uh, Hyundai to choose itong, itong uh, CMS na ilalagay doon. Nandun yon sa ating uh, kontrata. 
Ngayon, uh, Secretary, won't, um, won't that compromise our uh, security? Because the shipbuilder now will know the kind of combat management system or the weapons that we will be installing in the in the frigates. Uh, Opo, Senator, kasi hindi lang naman yung uh, si Mays ang lalagay ng subsystem ng Hyundai. Eh. There are many subsystems that they will install. At saka itong Hyundai, sila na yung gumawa na meron na silang uh, experience na gumawa ng frigate. So they are, uh, they know how to, to make the frigate. Ngayon, ang pinagkataka ko lang dito sa Navy naman, nung uh, araw na pipirmahan ko yung kontrata, I was there, nandun na yun sa kabilang kwarto yung mga taga Hyundai, then the, the other room, yung mga officials ng uh, Navy na sa kabilang kwarto. I talked to them. I want to, I want to get their assurance na comfortable sila sa kontrata. Admiral Mercado was there. Ang tanong ko sa kanila, gentlemen, sabi ko, I am going to sign the contract today. Is there anything you want to say about the contract? Wala nga naman sila sinasabi. Are you happy with the contract? Yes, sir. In fact, sa, um, Admiral Mercado stood up and sabi niya, Sir, I am very happy that this, that this project will be implemented already. Because uh, I was there at the start. Kasama ako dyan, sir, all the way. Hanggang ngayon. Oh. So, after that, sabi ko, okay. I went to the other room and signed the contract. Yung pala meron sila mga problema, hindi nila sila sabi. Dapat sana, kung sinabi nila sa akin doon, na sinabi sa niya sa akin, ah, uh, Mr. Secretary, pwede ba i-hold mo na yung kontrata pag-sign dahil meron kami issue sa CMS. Now, Mr. Senator, yung pong, sina, yung pong CMS na yun, dalawa na yan, sila rin ang nag-great na compliant. Hindi na, compliant silang dalawa. Yung CMS ng uh, yung uh, Tacticus at saka yung, uh, yung Hanwa Handebal Shields, they are both compliant according to the specification, technical specification ng, ng Navy. Sila po ang nagpano doon, nag, nag, nag compliant doon. Now, when the Hyundai will choose, nang, nang pipiliin na nila, several months later, tumaas na yung cost ng tacticos by 7 million. Sabi ng Hyundai, pwede natin ilagay yun, pero magbayad kayo ng, another, uh, ng additional 7 million. But it's already above our uh, budget. So that means, uh, Mr. Secretary, What? dahil tumaas na po yung... Uh, That is the reason. Ng oh. ng, uh, ng, Tumaas na ng 7 million tires. per ship. So that is uh, 14 million for the two ships, dollars. That is about 700 million dollars. So did we compromise the capability? Because uh, even uh, Admiral Empedrad, and uh, I think uh, I would like to ask uh, former Foyka Mercado, That is the choice of the Philippine Navy. Yung pong talis talaga. Pero uh, uh, sa so dahil lang tumaas po sila, kaya pumili tayo nung... The second best, kumbaga. kumbaga. Kasi ba? po, uh, doon do pa sa procurement law natin, uh, it does not uh, require na mas maganda yung bibili mo. Basta, ang kwan lang po doon ang rating is pass fail or compliant non compliant. Yun ang ating modernization law. Now, if you want to change that, then it's up to you. You are the lawmakers, so you can change the modernization law na hindi na tayo babagawin natin yung kriteriya na compliant non compliant so to best better best or saka good ganun so essential as secretary I just have to ask though, because sige po uh, we've been i hope uh, mr chair you would understand because we have been procuring the the kind of hardware that is not really what that i think not the choice of the technical working group of either the air force or the navy we do not want a repeat of the purchase of so called choppers which are which are always on the ground than on the air we do not want any more uh, Uh, acquisitions of UH-1D which are refurbished and uh, sorry, a A-50 I'm sure that there are better um, fighter jets than a lead-in fighter jets so with, uh, hindi ho tayo mayamang bansa Mr. Chairman so whatever funds we have we have to maximize and purchase what is really capable and durable that we can maximize the usage yun lang po ang akin na uh, Uh, oh. Mr. Chair, so I just like our secretary, I just like to ask Siguro to confirm, Siguro probably former flag officer in command, uh, Joseph Mercado, what's your uh, reaction on this regarding the choice of the CMS between Thales and uh, the HHI? Kung baga ba, nag, we, sabi nga po ni secretary, ni secretary, dahil nga po tumaas na yung Thales, eh, we settled for... Uh, for uh, something that we did not really uh, what was not really the choice so i'll ask also siguro si um, 
rear under under down and probably part of the original project management team can also comment uh, mr chair see si commodore uh, villa please thank you your honor uh with your respect First of all, I'd like to state that uh, the recollection of uh, Secretary Lorenzana on one transpired during the contract signing is not, is not accurate. Uh, in my presentation, I'll be showing what happened during the contract signing. I was just there, invited to see the contract signing because I was the commander of Western Command in Palawan. I'm not connected with the Philippine Navy. I was invited, I think, out of courtesy because I was the first head of the technical working group that for two years crafted the technical specs of the frigate. So I was just there, buffer crowd. I think that's a better term for it. I didn't know what was in the contract. Second, on the additional cost to the government. I think everyone should know that in Republic Act 9184, it provides that all bid prices shall be considered as fixed prices and therefore not subject to price adjustment and escalation during contract implementation. When they submitted their bid, all the technical proposals in their submission fall into the financial amount that they submitted, 15.7. If there are escalations later on, it is to their risk. Remember, when we place in the contract the validity of the price that they tendered, it is valid through the whole period of the contract. So when the subcontractor, or when the contractor, Hyundai, for example, should ask for cost estimates from their subcontractors, they should have placed a validity period for the cost so that they are ensured that there will be no escalation of the price. It's not our problem. Also, in the bidding documents that they got before the submission of their bids, Section 4, Clause 9 states, and I quote, Prices quoted by the supplier for goods delivered under this contract shall not vary from the price quoted by the supplier in its bid. Those were our reasons when during discussions of the project management team, and the representatives of Hyundai, they suddenly were telling us that if we choose Thales Tacticos, we will bear the additional cost. Nabigla kami. Hindi naman kami yung nagsabi na ito yung ilalagay. They were the ones who gave us, who offered us these options. Option A, option B. Now because we're going to option B, we will have to pay more. Doesn't make sense. That's all. Rear Admiral uh, Empedrad, please. Sir, uh, Were you part of the project, ma project management team or the yes, I, I was the chairman. Kasama kayo nun. You're the yes. chairman. So yes, what sir, was uh, your choice then? What was the CMS cho of your choice? I was the chairman of the technical working group when the bidding occurred, uh, Mr. Chair. And uh, our preference by, uh, at that time is uh, uh, Thales or Tacticos of Netherlands. Yung procedure kasi ng bidding, uh, Mr. Chair, is that the, the technical working group of the Navy will come up with a requirement of all the subsystems that will be provided by the win or, or the proponents that will be joining the bidding. Yung nung nagkaroon ng bidding, Mr. Chair, uh, we nag produce uh, the, the proponents offered uh, subsystems that will be compliant to the technical requirements of the Philippine Navy. So, hindi nga namin alam na may tacticos, hindi nga namin alam na may hanwa at the time of the bidding. Because uh, according to RA 9184, we cannot uh, give preference to brand. So, we don't even know what is tacticos, we don't even know what is ICMS that was offered at the time of the bidding. So, nung, nung in-offer ng, uh, ng, ng Hyundai, yung tacticos, and, uh, and Hanwa ICMS, then uh, again, ang, ang bidding kasi Mr. Chair is that uh, the Hyundai Heavy Industries will deliver a fully functional frigates. Iba kasi sir, kung bumili tayo ng just the platform and then we procure the subsystems, that we have a chance to choose 
what subsystems to be placed. But since we will be procuring a fully functional frigate, lahat ng integration ng subsystems of that frigate will be borne by the HHI or the winning proponent. Kasi wala kaming capability to integrate all the systems. So kung, kung kami ang pipili ng makina, kung kami pipili ng weapon systems to integrate that, we don't have that capability. That's why we gave all the integration aspect of the frigate to the winning company that will deliver our frigate, Mr. Honor, Your Honor. But do you, but, ano, do you, but, uh, bang, parang mas tama, uh, Rear Admiral, that uh, we are the end user. The Philippine Navy is the end user. Dapat kung ano ho yung gusto ninyo, whatever weapons that you would die, whatever management system that you would want, kayo po mag specify And uh, in this case, uh, you, uh, you admit, you said, uh, you said earlier, you told this committee, that you, the first choice was really Thales. So what happened along the way? Because of budgetary constraints, nagbago ho tayo. It, it's Hindi not, ba nabago ang capability? I would like to ask probably the TWG late um, after, no? Yes, sir. When, when Hyundai offered the uh, ICMS, Naval Shield, and Tactical Third, it came through a process. Did the two subsystems met the technical requirements that was crafted at the time when the chairman was uh, Admiral Mercado? And the two subsystems uh, uh, met or complied with the technical specification of the Navy. So, pinasa namin yun, sir, in the SOBE, in the bidding, and even we post-qualified also the, those two subsystems that is compliant to the requirements of the Philippine Navy. Parang ano lang yan, sir, eh? Uh, pipili ako ng sapatos Adidas and, and Nike. I prefer Nike all the way. But Adidas also meet my requirements, and based on the contract, it's Yunte. Kasi siya yung mag integrate sir eh. Pa paano kung ilalagay yung Nike? Tapos hindi naman siya integrated to the subsystems of, the co of all the subsystems of the ship. So it is, yung, yung ICMS is the Adidas and the Tacticals is the Nike. But both pass the requirements, what we want. Which when we, when we crafted the technical specification, that's the best that we can have for our frigate. And nung nilagay naman nila yung tacticals and ICMS, it met our requirements, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I'd like to ask Commodore Villa, kayo po ang original na nasa poor object management team. Is there a diff ano po ang difference ng uh, capability? Are all the, sir the equipment that were installed? Bawa, yung surveillance radar, uh, ano pa ba? Yung iba pong mga kagamitan, other equipment, are they all compliant compared kung ikukumpara yung yung pong original configuration that uh, your uh, you uh, yung project management and team and the technical working group specified lahat ba nang nailagay compliant or were there other equipment that were not compliant uh, sir before i answer your question uh, uh, let me first uh, inform the uh, good senators that i am the technical working group uh, Project management team head from uh, 15 March 2017 up to 07 December 2017. And during my uh, watch, there's already the contract. And uh, included in the contract, there are two salient points regarding this combat management system. One is that in the maker's list, it says that HHI has a sole right to choose. However, meron pong qualifying uh, clause that as long as it meets the techni Navy technical specification and build specs. So, isa po yun. Second, during the September workshop 2016, that was after the PQ, nagkaroon po ng agreement that isama ang provision that the CMS shall be compatible with Link 16. And doon po yung Hyundai Nagsulat siya ng comply, in-update nila yung build specs. These two uh, salient points, nung nan, ako na po yung technical uh, or the project management team, dito po yung namin tingnan kung pasok ba yung isa or yung dalawa or compliance sila sa bagong technical specifications. So yung sinasabi na CMS shall be compatible with Link 16, it is a software na nandun na po sa loob ng CMS. So, uh, noong February 1, pumunta kami ng uh, Hyundai for the kickoff, 
And after that, we visited Hanwa uh, factory. And in both occasions, we asked, compatible na ba ang CMUS nyo with Link 16? And they said, and it's recorded in the minutes, that it will be compatible by year 2019. So when we ask if it is uh, software na hinahanap namin, and they always said by 2019. After that, during my watch then, there are exchanges of communications regarding these tech specs. And up to the time na napunta na po sa sinabi na ng steering committee na they agree that the HHI selected CMS, yun mo ilalagay. But as technical or the project management team, we ask, well, how about the qualifying cost as long as it meets the PN, technical, and build specs? Kasi generic po yun nandun sa sulat. So hanggang ngayon, hindi pa po na-answer yan. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, may, may I respond to that, uh, Mr. Chair? May I respond to that? Sir, uh, we, should be, we should be clarified on the process of the bidding process. Uh, first, uh, before nag-conduct ng bidding, the Navy came up with a technical specification of all the subsystems. We are not, we're just talking of CMS, but there are so many subsystems that will be placed to our frigate. The original technical specification which the proponent bidded did not require compatibility with Link 16. Hindi yun sinama ng, ng, ng TWG that crafted the original technical specs. Hindi kasama yun, sir, yung tactical data link 16. Because we don't have tactical data link 16 as of yet in any inventory of the Philippine Navy ship. And the, and the requirement of the proponent is just to provide a space in the ship for TDL 16 so that when we acquire it in the future, they will just we will just put the TDL 16 on that space provided. So when the company bidded for the frigate, hindi kasama yung integration ng TDL 16. And we, the, the technical working group rated the two subsystems, the two CMS, at the time of the Soviet based on the technical specification. And then, na post qualified din namin yan, Mr. Chair, that TDL 16 is not a requirement of the technical specification. Sige, now, thank during you. the... the but, uh, sorry to cut you, uh, yes, um, I will, will just go on now, uh, I just have... Uh, I will just go on the second round, probably, Mr. Chair, yes, because it's too technical, it takes a lot of time, yes, and I will, I will uh, uh, continue to ask regarding the technical and the configurations and the specifications later on. Mr. Chair, just um, before I uh, end, no, I'd just like to ask, because itong lahat nakagulo to, I think, Mr. Chair, it's a matter of choice, eh. No, yung Thales, yung CMS uh, against uh, uh, Hanwa, Hyundai, uh, Hyundai. Anyway, uh, siguro, tanin ko na lang din. I'll take the, take the opportunity. Siguro, tanin ko na si Sabbongo and uh, si Attorney Lloyd Christopher Lau, who are already here. Um, siguro, si Sabbongo, no? Na, na damay ho ang inyong pangalan ho dito uh, dahil allegedly kayo po ang uh, nagtulak. No? Tanin ko lang ho siguro sa inyo, Ilan ho ba ang dumarating na, na mga bagay-bagay no, sa inyo pong opisina, uh, sa PMS, either complaints, either assistance, or uh, any other issues? Para lang may idea ho ang kumiting ito, gano'ng karami po ang inyong pinoproseso ng mga bagay sa isang araw? Up to today, sir, umaabot na po ng 23,423 yung mga sulat o mga referrals po na natatanggap namin. So, gaya po ng sinabi ng presidente niya, nung inaugural speech niya as mayor, ang kanyang administration, even up, hanggang presidente na po siya, ay para sa hopeless, defenseless, and helpless. Bukas po itong malakanyang si any complain, uh, hinaing o reklamo, sinusubukan po namin tugunan po ang lahat. O, pero pag mga letters na gano'n, uh, ini-endorse po namin ito sa appropriate uh, agencies or departments for their uh, actions. So sa 20,000 halimbawa na nabanggit nyo, ilan ho ang umaabot mismo sa inyo? Kung baga, ha Lahat ba yan ay pinararating uh, sa inyo or hindi, porsyento na lang, yung percentage? Percent, hindi na po, lahat sa sobrang dami po niyan. Uh, 
gaya na sinabi ko, 23,000 po. So, yung mga importanteng importante, mga karating po yan sa amin, yung mga user kasek, kung mga referrals yan, endorse to PNP, endorse to Ombudsman, uh, gawa po, siguro sa mga senador, hindi nyo na po rin nababasa lahat ng sulat at uh, uh, pinapabasa nyo lang po sa mga assistant nyo rin po. Siguro, sec, siguro, ya, yeah. Mat, ano lang, curiosity. Ilan ho kayang text messages o email na natatanggap nyo sa isang araw? Lahat ba yan, eh, nababasa ninyo? Uh, sinusubukan ko pong buksan kung may panahon pa po, pero since natanong nyo na lang po. Sa ngayon, ilan po yung text messages nyo sa inyong telepono? 5,546. Ang nandito po. Ito po. Pero hindi nila makita eh. Pwede kong screenshot ito. Ang email, 12,244. Yung, yung Viber naman, 3,000 plus. So, ganun po ang... Sinusubukan po namin tugunan, lalo na po yung nangangailangan talaga. Yung katulad ng... Uh, alam mo, malaking tulong rin tong cellphone eh. Makikita mo yung humingi ng tulong sa uh, OFW na nasasaktan sila doon. So, nire-refer ka agad namin sa OIA. Ano nandiyan ho si, ano, uh, Sekbong? Si Attorney Lord Christopher Lau, dahil lumabas sa kanyang pangalan, dahil siya po ang nag-handle itong tukul sa Navy, itong kaguluan sa Navy. Uh, andito ho ba siya? Andito po. Ano ka ngayon, no? Dati yung Sek kayo, no? Doon po sa inyo, sa PMS, ilan ho ang umaabot kay Sek Bongo? Saan ba ba ilan percentage? Lahat ba yun ay sinusubukan nyo pabot o kayo mismo ay sinusubukan yung kayo na ang, uh, sa inyong mong level pa lang, eh, kayo na ang nagpapasa o uh, nag-aayos ng mga pinap nire-refer sa inyo? Our task is to lighten the burden of the Office of the President. So we make sure we, as much as possible, we settle everything and resolve all issues within our level. Senator. Last pa, Mr. Chair, na kay Sek Bongo, ito pong uh, nadawit ho kayo dito, nung kailan nyo lang ho ito nalaman? Um, ba, mga anong buwan nyo nalaman? Nung araw na nabasa ko po sa unang-una sa umaga sa Inquirer, nung tumungo po kami ni Pangulong Duterte sa uh, blessing nung uh, sa Kaap, DOTC, Bago lang po ito, mga January. Bago lang po. Doon ko po, na, doon ko po nakita lahat at uh, pinapasagot ako sa bagay na hindi ko, pa, hindi ko po nakita. Hindi po nakita. Okay, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, that's all for now. I will uh, just uh, ask my, uh, reserve my questions later on. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Senator Ejercito. Before I uh, recognize Senator Escudero, uh, let me address this concern to Secretary Lorenzana, Rear Admiral Empedrad, Well, Vice Admiral Mercado no? and uh, Commodore Villa. Uh, that's precisely why we are looking at the possible deficiencies in our procurement system. Pero kanina, as you were, uh, I, 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 I want to express this concern, no? which is, this is proactively, our control and security over the procurement process. Sabi kanina ni Rear Admiral Emperad, this is what we want. This is what we prefer. Ang pinag-usapan rito, hindi lamang yung kung ano ang gusto natin, kundi kung ano ang alam nila tungkol sa atin. Uh, I hope I'm getting this point across para proactively, as we put our heads together to examine possible changes in the procurement law, especially the procurement law as it applies to the security sector, we do not lose sight of the control factor. Hindi yung kung ano gusto namin. Beyond the bidding process. No? Kung ano ang pinapayagan natin na malaman nila. We, we, we should start, uh, start thinking strategic. Our any, uh, friends today may not be our friends tomorrow. Just take this into consideration para we can incorporate that in the possible amendments to the procurement law. Uh, yes, uh, Secretary the only way we can do that is uh, if we make our own. We produce our own CMS, everything, so that nobody will know it. But for as long as we subcontract these uh, ships to other nations, I think we, we cannot uh, prevent them from knowing what we know, what we have. Well, Secretary Nazaria, that's well taken. That's why we're working on the self-reliance 
program which we have been hammering on. Uh, if you remember, we, your committee has refrained from holding too many hearings because we wanted you to focus first on the Marawi situation uh, proactively. So anyway, uh, that, that's well taken. Uh, that's the best approach. And I'm sure we have the capability to do that. Uh, but anyway, uh, that should be included later on in your submissions and uh, probably in your presentations. At this point, we'd like to acknowledge the arrival of uh, DBM Secretary Jokno. He's the ex officio chairman of the Government Procurement Policy Board. And uh, sir, uh, later on, as the need arises, we might have to administer the oath to you. Thank you. Now, uh, please allow the chair to recognize Senator Escudero for his questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Masyadong seryoso yung usapan. Secretary Bongo, sa liman libon text, ilan dun yung galing sa kay Senator JV? <laughs> Kimix din, Kimix din. And Secretary Bongo, I saw E.S. Medaldea, Secretary Cayetano, Secretary Aguirre. Sino pong kasama ni Pangulong Duterte ngayon? Ngayon. Ah, Secretary Harry Roque is there too, Secretary Andanar. Sino pong naiwan sa bahay? Siya lang po. Siya lang mag-isa. <laughs> If I may proceed, Mr. Chairman. Um, may I proceed with it chronologically? Secretary uh, Volts, um, Gazmin. Sir, you did all the procedures sort of award during your term. Is that correct? Secretary Gazmin, sir. That's correct, Your Honor. So, kasama ho dun yung maker's list? Kasama ho doon yung terms of reference, kasama doon yung specifications ng barkong gusto natin. Lahat po yun nagawa during the previous administration. Yes, Sir Honor. So ang kulang na lang po, pirmahan yung kontrata na hindi nyo ginawa kasi baka masabing midnight deal yun. Not the contract but the notice of award. The contract was signed during your term too? No, no, no. 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 Kaya nga, hindi nyo po tinuloy hanggang doon dahil baka masabi... Midnight deal yun. Yes, Your Honor. Pero lahat po yun, lahat ng pinag-uusapan natin dito, nagawa na ho yun during the previous administration. Short of signing the contract and the notice of award. Your Short Honor. of signing the notice of award and the um, signing of the contract, nagawa na ho lahat. Is that yes, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Sir? I have a question, sir. Did Secretary Lorenzana have the option of not to proceed with the contract? He had the option because he had the time to review the project. That is correct, sir. Pero kung wala pang notice of award at wala pang kontrata, so in other words, they can backtrack and start all over again? Yes, they can do that, Your Honor. Um, may I ask Secretary Jokno, as the chairman said, um, he is the chairman of the GPPB. Is that accurate, sir? Yes, sir. Pwede hong i-review yun kung gusto nila. Pwedeng i-review at pwedeng uh, i-cancel we'll altogether. It will take another maybe six months a year. Se Senator Escudero, yeah. before you continue, uh -huh. may we ask the ComSec <laughs> to administer the oath to uh, Secretary Jokna? <clears throat> I do. Thank you. Please uh, proceed. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll consider previous answers given by Secretary Jokna as having been answered on the road as well, um, with the concurrence of Secretary Jokna. Um, so, pwede pa po nilang i-cancel at magsimula uli? Pwede pa. Wala pong kausa ang Hyundai na magdemanda na hindi na tuloy yun? Ah, uh, hindi ko lang alam ko. Ah, wala pa. Wala pang award kasi, so... Wala I pang award? Pwede pa, pwede pa. Now, Secretary Lorenzana... Nung naupo ho kayo, may binago po ba kayo sa terms of reference, dun sa findings ng post-qual team, ng bids and awards, ng TWG, yung listahan na nasa makers list, may binago po ba kayo? Uh, Mr. Chairman, wala kami binago. In fact, uh, before I assume the uh, secretaryship, I had a meeting with Secretary Gasmina. Sinabi niya sa akin yan, meron itong... Uh, Pre-gift time binibili, sabi niya, ipagpatuloy mo na lang. Hindi na namin uh, yan tinapos kasi baka mag-midnight uh, signing. So wala na po kaming, I asked my legal team to look, to go over it. Kaya po nagtagal yan, uh, July, August, September, September uh, August na yung uh, notice of award. And then yung kontrata, yung kontrata na pirmahan noong October 24. 
And I asked the legal team to go over it. Sabi ko, tapos tinan nyo kung uh, okay na yan. It's, uh, it's uh, correct in form and substance. At tanong ko mga kay uh, Atty. Danoy, eh, nung sinabi niya, sir, okay na. Sabi, sabi ko, tinan ko siya, can we defend this in uh, Plaza Miranda? Sabi niya, oo oh, sir, pwede yan. Oh. So that's why uh, in August 18, I, si I assigned the notice of award. And uh, two months later, I signed the contract, uh, you know, Mr. So, Chair. So, sir, sa madalit salita, kung ano yung inabutan nyo, as is, where is, yun na rin ho yung tinuloy at pinirmahan ninyo? Yun na rin po ang sinuloy namin at pinirmahan. Na, nabanggit po kanina na merong prohibition ang uh, HHI na pumasok sa ilang kontrata na yung desisyon naging pinal sometime September 2017. Um, matanong ko po, either si Vice Admiral Mercado o si Foyk um, Emperado, hindi po ba ito nalaman nung nag-post qual sa HHI na meron po silang legal na problema sa kanilang bansa? Sir, either of the two? Mr. Um, Chair, I, yes. Uh, doon sa pag-post qual, Mr. Chair, uh, Your Honor, hindi part of the requirements to look on the pending case of the proponent. Hindi po, a... basa lang po ng jari doon. Gaya po ng sabi ni Senator Lacson, um, basa lang po ng jari doon. Malaking kaso po yun tungkol sa corruption. So, nung nagpunta po doon, uh, wala have, pong nakuha na wala informasyon. Wala kaming idea, Your Honor. No information at all that uh, Hyundai Heavy Industry is, uh, has a case uh, on the Supreme Court of Republic of Korea. So, ang pinunta namin doon sa PQ is to just to validate the documents that they presented during the SOBE and to check din namin yung mga, uh, mga facilities niya nila, sir, uh, Your Honor, if they are able to build a frigate for our country. Now, for Secretary Cayetano, um, sir, nakalagay dun sa desisyon na kinote ni Senator Lacson kanina, bawal pumasok sa loob ng dalawang taon ang HHI sa anumang tinatawag nilang state-led tenders. Ano po ba ang ibig sabihin from the DFA's point of view ng state-led tender at ito po ba ay state-led tender? Thank you, Senator. Mr. Chairman, upon the instructions of uh, Senator Lacson, uh, we sent a message to post to clarify this. Um, first of all, may I mention, uh, straight procurement kasi ito, walang uh, ODA. So DFA was not involved uh, in the past. No? Although there was a bilateral meeting, between then President Park and President Aquino, where President Park asked nga President Aquino na i-consider yung uh, Korean shipbuilding no, <clears throat> for this project. So upon clarification, ang sagot po ng Korea is that they do not give a copy of the Supreme Court decision pag non-participants. So if I may, maybe the committee can ask HHI to... Uh, secure a copy for you because yung lang daw pong litigants ang binibigyan ng Supreme Court ng Korea. So when the uh, we further looked into it, ang sinabi po, sumulat po yung HHI sa military saying that there are seven divisions sa loob ng HHI and uh, their division in fact have gotten 17 contracts with various countries uh, including government of ROK, New Zealand, and the Philippines. So I don't want to interpret, sir, kung ang ibig sabihin nun, sa Korea lang sila hindi pwede mag-bid or kung worldwide, no? Or ang ibig sabihin po ng state-led ay kapag yung bansa mismo ang pumasok sa isang kasunduan sa Pilipinas, in this case, Korea, at tinuro nilang supplier, malaoda nga, ay HHI. Yes, it's very much possible, but I don't want to speculate because we don't have a copy of the Supreme Court decision. Sa kasong ito, nung nag-bid ang HHI, walang partisipasyon ang bansa ng Korea. Wala Maliban po. sa pagbulong ng presidente siguro na, uy, yung Koreano, tulungan which, mo naman. Yes, which is, by the way, is normal in bilaterals. Diba? Any country would always uh, uh, sell or try to merchant, try, try to, um, uh, to sell or highlight kung ano yung produkto nila. Now, on the makers <coughs> list, um, this was mentioned earlier by Commodore Bartolome, I believe. At sabi din ni Secretary Gasmin, yung makers list in approve noon pa. Just to confirm again, Commodore Bartolome, kasama po ang Hanwa at saka ang Tales doon. Your Honor, uh, I confirmed na kasama po sa in-evaluate namin 
pasado pa sa technical specification of the bidding documents yung dalawang product. Ngayon, ang punot dulo nung tawagin ko ng away o hindi pagkakasundo sa punto de vista ni Secretary Lorenzana at ni um, Vice Admiral Mercado, mas gusto marahil ni Vice Admiral Mercado yung Thales, kumbaga sa brand, Nike o Adidas, Mercedes o Toyota, mas gusto niyo yung Thales. Would that be correct, Vice Admiral Mercado? Yes. That is accurate, Your Honor. Um, my problem with that, sir, is the Navy or any government agency, and I hope Secretary Zokno will confirm this, cannot specify a brand in any of the bid documents. You can only specify certain specifications. And as long as it is compliant, ano mang brand yun, mas gusto ko man ng Benz kaysa Toyota, halimbawa, mas gusto ko man ng BMW kaysa Land Rover, eh basta compliant sila na four-door pareho, apat ang gulong, may aircon, um, four-wheel drive, desayos yung makina. Yung personal preference natin ng brand, um, paano ho papasok sa equation yun? Bagaman, hindi ko sinasabing mali kayo, siguro mas maganda nga ang Thales kaysa Hanwa. Sa pangalan pa lang, di ba, pag European, parang mas magaling, mas maganda kaysa gawa kung saan. Um, but is Thales even a bidder, sir? Is Thales a bidder? Your Honor, may I answer? Vice Admiral Mercado, yes. Is Thales a bidder? That's my question. Thales is a, one of the subcontractors of HHI. But Thales is not a bidder. Thales is not a bidder. Kasi sana po, bahagi naman kayo nung, nung bids, nung, nung nagtingin ng bids nung nakarang administrasyon, sana... Binid na natin ang hiwalay yung CMS, kung may gusto tayong CMS provider. Pero gaya na nasabi ni Foy kanina, eh, whole system na in-order natin eh. Ngayon basta compliant yung nasa makers list, ano mang hindi ho nyo pagkakaunawaan sa brand, talisman o Hanwa, hindi dapat maging dahilan para madali. Dahil kung may problema yung Hanwa, hindi sana sinama sa makers list yun. Sir, please. Your Honor. You are correct that we are inhibited from identifying or specifying brand. brand. And uh, if you look at the bidding documents, particularly on the portion of technical specifications, there is no mention of any brand. Exactly. What is mentioned there are just the par parameters, for example, that the ship will run at a uh, maximum speed of 25, 25 knots and other technical requirements of uh, some equipment. For example, the surface-to-surface -surface missile. It should have a range of 150 kilometers. Those are the only uh, provisions that have been placed in the bidding documents. Mm -hmm. Now, when uh, HHI submitted their technical proposals, it is that time where the brands are stated. It is not us. It is the, the bidder that identified the brand. So the FOIC is correct. Uh, the technical working group went to Korea, studied and evaluated these two brands and found them to be compliant to the technical specs stated in the bidding documents. That said, as I mentioned earlier, it was Hyundai who offered Palace Tacticos and uh, Hanwa Thales. And because they offered it, we thought that we had the liberty of saying, okay, since you offered it, I think the better one and the one that we want is Thales Tacticos. And that's the story of it. Now, let me just correct some uh, information that was mentioned earlier. And uh, again, sir, with due respect to the Secretary Lorenzana. The technical specs in the post-qualification was improved, was added during a workshop conducted one month before the signing of the contract. So the technical specs in the post-qualification is different from what is stated in the contract. You had more technical specs in the contract because one month before, there was an agreement between the Philippine Navy and Hyundai to add some more technical specs. They agreed. So it's now placed in the contract. When I became for it, the contract was already made, we implemented the contract. What is the Bible during contract implementation? It is the contract. To now evaluate 
what is happening now based on the specs in the post qualification, I, I don't think it's right. It should be what is in the contract. And what is in the contract are additional technical specification of the combat management system. That's why we have this problem right now on the choice of the CMS. Sir, yung additional specifications ba, mas maganda o mas pangit para sa Philippine Navy? Mas maganda para sa Philippine Navy. Oh. That's why it was added. Kung mas maganda po para sa Philippine Navy yung dinagdag na specifications oh. dun sa kontratang pinirmahan ni Secretary Lorenzana, ibig sabihin po ba nun may madidisqualify na dun sa makers list o qualified pa rin po silang dalawa? The additions made in the contract, for us, disqualified one. Which one, sir? And who is us, sir? Well, the one who be evaluated were actually the Philippine Navy Project Management Team, the technical Headed experts. By... Uh, then it was uh, Commodore Sean Villa. So, uh, going back to your question, the additions made that were included in the contract disqualified one of the maker of the CMS, Navy in our view. Hanwa. Hanwa. So we're left with the other. Um, Commodore Villa, sir, um, the additional specifications was for the better of the Navy, was um, a better system for the Navy. And how can it effectively disqualify one? At the time of contract signing na, when the maker's list was already part of the previous agreements entered into by government? Sir. Uh, sir, as a backgrounder, yung sinasabi natin na uh, nung nag-post qual, it was June. Yes. After that, nung karoon ng notice of award, September 2016, yes. merong workshop. Meron doon, yung tulad yung sinabi ko kanina, the CMS shall be compatible with Link 16. Nag-agree po yung HHI, tsaka ang Philippine Navy, na i-update yung build specs. After that, pagdating ng October, pinirmahan ng contract, kasama na siya doon. So, naging part na siya ng contract in order para lalong mapaganda ang CMS natin. Because, sa guidance ng JHQ, itong Link 16, ito yung magiging ano natin, part ito ng system ng Armed Forces. Uh, pumasok po ako as head ng project management team March. So, pagdating ng January, nung nag-present po yung PMT sa Malacanang, nandun na po ang sinasabi na ang Link 16 ng Hanwa by 2019 pa. No. Pagdating sir, ng, this is a software. Sir, I, I, I heard you when you had said that the first time. My question is, if the delivery of the first frigate is due in the first quarter of 2020, would it matter if they will be compliant this year, next year? Basta pag deliver nung frigate, compliant siya at compatible siya sa link 16. Why is the fact that they're not yet compliant as of today relevant compared to being compliant by 2019 for as long as they are compliant by the time they, they deliver the frigate? Uh, sir, thank you very much for that question. Please, sir. Nandun sa contract, the CMS shall be of proven design. Bawal po yung still in development. And pagdating sir ng October, meron po tinatawag tayo yung technical inspection and acceptance, TIAC, for the critical design review. So kung tatanggapin po natin na by 2019 pa ang software madedevelop, so dun sa TIAC, hindi siya papasa. Kasi nandun sa TIAC by October, nasa contract po yan, na kailangan lahat na design na ilalagay mo dyan should be compliant. So, wag ho natin tanggapin kung hindi sila compliant. Hindi po ba? That is correct po, sir. Wag so, natin silang bayaran kung hindi compliant sa link 16 by the time you, receive, you see it in October. Uh, yes, sir. Yung role lang namin is to remind or give information sa DND. So, whatever ang recommendation po namin, it is the hope or DND, sila po yung in charge po niyan. Last two points, Mr. Chairman. I know my time is winding up. Um, Sir, Secretary Lorenzana, ano ho ang specific na dahilan ba't nyo nirelieve sa command niya si Vice Admiral Mercado? Ito po yun, uh, Mr. Chairman. Please, sir. Uh, now, uh, sometime in, uh, in the middle of uh, 2017, lumapit sa akin yung uh, 
yung implementor ng project si uh, Director uh, De La Paz. Sabi niya sir hindi umuurong yung ano, hindi umuurong yung uh, ating uh, yung, yung frigate. Bakit? Dahil uh, ayaw uh, paurongin ni Abner Mercado dahil ini-insist niya yung tacticos. So sa, kaya ako nag-create nitong uh, steering committee para i-resolve yan. So ang sabi naman, ang, pag, ang binasa ng ating legal officer, yung, uh, yung kontrata, at uh, yung hardware naman, e eh, compliant and ipinangako nila na by the time they will deliver, the, it they will have been compatible with the, the uh, tactical data link 16. So, nagpagdala ako ng uh, memo sa, sa Navy that we are already, we should implement the, the, prog the, the project. Ituloy na natin yan. But, uh, Admiral Mercado, in one of the uh, senior leaders' uh, discussions, I wasn't there, but there is a minute that was given to me. Ang uh, sabi niya, uh, he was insisting on tacticals, and she said that... Uh, he will uh, work for the cancellation of the uh, contract kung hindi matuloy yung tacticos uh, of uh, Netherlands. So another uh, memo was sent to him and he, he, he defied that. Isa pa po, what, sir, he defied that? He, he, he did not follow the memo. Hmm. Oh. Isa pa, yung Navy, ay yung Navy, mayroon silang owners uh, team doon sa Hyundai. Nakatira doon sa Hyundai yun eh. And uh, he prevented, the Navy prevented them from meeting with the Hyundai people to discuss uh, the project. Meron tayong records yan na mayroon silang autos doon na huwag kausapin doon. So, usap-usap na naman kami. Now, uh, Mr. Senator, uh, Mr. Chairman, once the contract is signed, the implementation of the project goes to the ND. Wala na yung Navy doon. And yet, Vice Admiral Mercado uh, usurped my authority ordering those people there to do things that uh, hindi naman kasama dun sa implementation ng program. Kaya tayo na-delay. The critical review, the criti critical design review was supposed to be submitted, o mag-agree sila, last October. Hindi nangyari dahil because uh, dinay-delay nila yung budget. That was the reason why he was relieved. I, I lost confidence in him dahil he's uh, blocking the project flip and right and uh, making some excuses and nawawala na ako ng confidence sa kanya so uh, I, I went to the president sabi ko Mr. President uh, I would like to relieve uh, Ronald sabi niya oh, go ahead so yun po ang story niyan that uh, he, he tried to assert by authority Pag, kasi yung implementation ng project yung kanilang owners uh, rep sa uh, yung team nila sa Hyundai is under my control under the control of uh, D&D and yet uh, in order niya sila na huwag kayo makipag-usap dyan. And he, ang, ang ano doon, he especially said during a conference that kung hindi matuloy yung tacticos, he will uh, work for the cancellation of the contract. Mr. Chairman, last point. Magigit dalawang dekada na ang AFP modernization natin at hanggang ngayon, ito pa lang yung kauna-unahang frigate kung sakasakali na pinakamoderno na bibili ng AFP. Pero tila binibitawan na nabibitawan pa natin yung bola after more than 20 years. Ngayon pa lang husan tayo magkakaroon ng ganyan. I hope you can get your acts together, work together, cooperate with a view to modernizing um, our Navy in this case. And whatever differences you may have, I hope somehow, somewhere, you can set it aside for the good of the Navy. Nang hindi din delay at hindi rin ganong minamadali, yun tama lang po basta makuha natin yung pinakamagandang sistema para po sa ating sandatahang lakas. I sir, trust that Secretary Mr. 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 Chair, that. Mr. Chair, uh, for the information of uh, the committee, the uh, project is now moving again. Humingi lang ng konting adjustment yung Hyundai, about six months, kasi sabi na delay sila nung uh, kanilang uh, critical design review. So the delivery of the ship is now uh, delayed by six months, pero umuorong na po. Thank you, Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, Senator Escudero. Um, the chair recognizes Senator Trillanes. Uh, by the way, uh, Senator Pangilinan, to put on record, has given his seven minutes to Senator Trillanes.
Uh, maraming salamat, Mr. Chairman. Uh, being one of the principal authors of uh, the new AFP modernization law, uh, this representation is very much uh, interested in the proper implementation of the law. Anyway, uh, we have been uh, studying the documents uh, we have gathered, and uh, I will just make a uh, brief uh, a presentation to summarize uh, what we have gathered. And uh, to abbreviate, we will um, stipulate already that uh, the bidding process or the project was initiated during the time of uh, President Aquino under uh, Secretary Gasmin and uh, eventually until the notice of award was uh, turned over to the um, Duterte administration. Okay. On uh, September 23, 2016, ito pong Tales nag-sumulat uh, kay uh, Philipp sa Philippine Navy, then Foyk Admiral Takad, to inform the Philippine Navy that, and I would uh, directly quote, it has come to our attention, however, that Hanwa is promoting its naval shield CMS for the frigate acquisition project to correct any impression that uh, may have been given, please note that Tales has recently withdrawn from Hanwa Tales Cooperation Joint Venture and thus is no longer connected in any way to Naval Shield. Will not guarantee any system integration performance of this product nor support it during life cycle. Should the PN choose this option, it will be the first time for Hanwa to undertake a project of that complexity and size for an export customer. Next slide, please. Ito po, September 23 to September 30, 2016, ito yung minutes of the meeting ng technical working group in relation dun sa pag, uh, paglagay ng additional specifications as mentioned by uh, Commodore Villa. So, dito, nakalagay dito sa combat management system insert the following requ requirement. The CMS shall be compatible with link 16. Okay? So, maliwanag yan. Next. Uh, now, on October 24, 2016, pinirmahan yung kontrata. Andi ito, nakapirma lahat ng representatives. At doon sa one of the um, one of the paragraphs, nakalagay yung the back Okay, nakalagay doon yung mga attached documents would form part of the contract. Okay, next uh, slide. So, andyan dyan. Okay, ito yung makers list ng Philippine Navy. Doon sa combat management system, Hanwa Thales and Thales Tacticos. Ang nakalagay doon sa supplier, pero ang preference ng Navy is yung tacticos na, na Thales. Next. So, i-take note natin, ang binigay ng uh, Hyundai, dalawa, Hanwa Thales and um, tacticos na, na Thales. And dun sa kaninang letter ng Thales, it was very clear na wala na yung joint venture na yon yung Hanwa Thales. Okay, so next, uh, ito yung pirmado ni uh, now for uh, Admiral Empedrad, among others. Ano dyan nakalagay, dun sa provision na yan, the PN, as the ship owner, shall select the maker as necessary for its operational requirements. Maliwanag yan. So next, now, ito naman yung maker's list from Hyundai. Doon sa i-expand mo yung sa ano, combat management system. Doon sa combat management system, noong uh, makers list ng Hyundai, ando doon na nga, Hanwa Tales and, and TN, TNL, or ito yung Tacticos. So, maliwanag yun na Hanwa Tales. It's not Hanwa alone. Ibang, consortium, ibang uh, corporation yun altogether. So next, so in short, ang nasa kontrata is Hanwa Tales and yung Tacticos. 
Now, dito naman sa makers list ng uh, Hyundai, may nakalagay na remarks, the final selection of maker should be shipbuilders' ship builders sole right as long as the equipment slash system shall fulfill the owner's requirements in building specification and other design build aspects. So in short, nagkabaliktad na. Doon sa makers list ng Philippine Navy, Philippine Navy ang mamimili, pero dito sa Hyundai, nagkaiba na. But still, nakalagay naman doon, shall... Uh, for as long as it shall fulfill the owner's requirements. The second condition is if the owner's preferred maker is technically compliant and commercially competitive, then selection of owner's preferred maker can be considered. So parang optional na. But still, we should take note of that. Babalikan natin yan. Next. On January 4, 2017, sumulat kay uh, Secretary Lorenzana, Si Admiral Mercado. So January 4, 2017. Kini-question niya yung conditions dun sa Hyundai Makers List that na binasa ko pa lang na ano yan? And I quote, this command is of the opinion that uh, remarks 1 and 2 are grossly disadvantageous to the Philippine Navy and to the Armed Forces slash DND. The remarks if permitted are akin to a buyer, in this case the Philippine Navy DND, with his, with his own money being told by the seller, Hyundai, on what to buy. So, kinestyon ni Admiral Mercado, yung Korean. Uh, so, nag-request siya ng meeting with Hyundai for clarification. So, next. Ito na ngayon, yung June tw January 12, 2017, Ito na yung controversial uh, white paper na may uh, post-it note. And uh, just to comment, uh, Secretary Bongo, hindi naman siguro fake news yung report ng Rappler at Inquirer dahil meron talagang uh, dokumento. And yet, anyway, na-clarify naman na ni uh, Secretary Lorenzana. So nakalagay dito, January 12, 2017, ito yung post-it note ni um, SND. To Admiral Mercado, Ronald, this was given to me by Bongo. Go over it and prepare a uh, report slash rebuttal to be submitted to the President. To the President, it is not Bongo. Pinapa-require ni uh, SND, yung Navy, to, to report to the President. Okay, next. Itong uh, sulat, itong white paper na ito, basically, ine-emphasize nito yung position ng Hanwa. So, yung white paper na yan, na may post it, ang uh, tinutulak niyan, yung position ng Hanwa. Okay, next. Ito ang January 18, 2017, sinulatan ni uh, Attorney Lau, under Secretary of the uh, Office of the Special Assistant to the President, Presidential Management Staff, si uh, then Commodore Robert M. Pedrad, then Chairman of the Frigate Project Technical Working Group. At ang sinabi niya, and I quote, May we respectfully request your attendance this Friday, January 20, 2017, in the fourth floor of the new Executive Building, Malacanang, Manila, at 2 p.m., we would like to specifically discuss with you the issue on CMS selection. So ito pong si uh, Yusek Blau ay tao po ito ni Secretary Bongo. Kaya hindi ito totally fake news kasi meron tayong dokumentong nakalap. Na interesado ang office ni uh, Secretary Bongo doon sa CMS selection at pinagre-report yung technical working group. Next. Now, on January 23, 2017, sumulat kay President Duterte, attention, Secretary Bongo, etong si Commodore Empedrad, yung ngayong uh, flag officer in command natin, who used to be the chairman of the Frigate Acquisition Project, Project Management Team. At ito yung mga recommendation niya. The fact the uh, Frigate uh, Acquisition Project, Project Management Team, preferred tactical CMS over Naval Shield in view of the following reasons. One, 
Tacticos is one of the leading combat management systems in the world, considering that it is being used by 23 countries to over 172 ships. Just recently, the International Indonesian Navy signed a contract to build two new frigates at Damen um, Shell Naval Shipbuilding to be installed with Tacticos CMS. On the other hand, as per record, only the Korean Navy is currently using the Naval Shield ICMS HTC has an ongoing contract with the Royal Malaysian Navy for the installation of Naval Shield uh, for the two training ships. Han, Han, itong Naval Shield, uh, Mr. Chairman, is the other word for Hanwa. Ito yung Hanwa. Hanwa is the corporation. This is the name of the brand. Number two, Tactical CMS is compatible with data, uh, Tactical Data Link 16, which C4 e star requirement of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, while Hanwa's Naval Shield ICMS compatibility with TDL 16 is still under development phase, but could be made operational by 2019. Number three, HTC claimed that many countries using Tacticals have been suffering from their poor support logis logistics and upgrade of their outdated CMS cannot be validated for there is no available data or uh, verified report which supports said allegation. In addition, there, has, there have been repeat orders from Germany, Indonesia, Turkey that indicate their satisfaction on Tacticus CMS. Then HTC also mentioned that they will provide Navy the most economic and effective logistics and upgrade, almost free riding or onboarding after delivery of the brand new CMS with logistics support based on large number of ships and continuous upgrade modernization policy with Korean Navy with government funding. This is a failure, occur this is a future occurrence that needs to be validated later on. In addition, the PMT cannot quantify ascertain if the offer of HTC will be more economical than the offer of Thales Netherlands. In view of the foregoing, the frigate acquisition project, PMT sustains its preference of tacticals of Thales Netherlands as CMS for the two Navy frigates. So, hindi ito si Admiral Mercado, ha? this is Admiral Empedrad endorsing it. Next uh, slide. On February 16, 2017, Colonel De La Paz of the Chief Defense Acquisition Office, DND, wrote, uh, Admiral Mercado wrote to Colonel De La Paz of DND. And I quote, in this regard, request make representation with HHI to provide APDNDP and a photocopy of the complete commercial offers made by Hanwha Systems and the uh, Netherlands and, and Thales, Netherlands. So, dito nagpapaklarify ang uh, Navy dun sa claim ng uh, HHI na mas mahal daw yung, yung Thales. Next, please. Ito naman, sumulat March 1, 2017, sumulat ulit kay Kenneth de la Paz ng DND si Admiral Mercado. And, uh, and I quote, in view of this request, in, in view of this request of presentation with HHI to seek consent from the two companies to be furnished with a photocopy of the final commercial bids this coming March 2. Same shall indicate price quotation for hardware, software integration, and other systems and attendant costs. So, pinapaklarify kasi nga uh, sinasabi ay uh, mas mahal. Okay, next, quest, next uh, slide. Sumulat ulit kay Colonel De La Paz si uh, Admiral Mercado and I quote, the Philippine Navy regrets to inform Chief DAO of DND that the PN cannot endorse HHI CMS selection for the PN frigates. Further, be informed that PN maintains its position to validate the supposed price difference in the offers of Hanwha Systems and Thales Netherlands. It is on this backdrop that the Philippine Navy recommends for DAO to coordinate with HHI for final management meeting. Next, April 11, 2017, uh, sulat ni uh, Colonel Mangroban of the Philippine Navy Marines, Assistant Chief of Naval Staff for Logistics, 
to Secretary Lorenzana. And I quote, the PNTWG in many discussions with HHI has already justified its selection of the CMS for the frigate in terms of being a better product, referring to Thales, Tacticos, and strictly compliant to the technical requirements. While HHI focused their selection on being commercially advantageous, the PN maintains that the better CMS should be selected. Uh, further, the CMS selected by the PN has in fact not changed its cost. Uh, contrary to the claim of uh, Hanwa of uh, Hyundai. For going uh, considered and to obviate further delay in the CMS issue, it is recommended that the HHI be requested to submit in writing the final written decision on the CMS that will be installed in the frigate not later than April 20, 2017. So again, hindi ito si Admiral Mercado ang nagtutulak ng tacticos ko, hindi one of the staff of the Philippine Navy. Next, on April 20, 2017, Memorandum of, uh, the for the Flag Officer in Command, sulat ito ng DND ni Colonel de, uh, de La Paz to the Flag Officer in Command. And I quote, please be informed that the Secretary of National Defense has approved the recommendation for the continuation of the above mentioned project with HHI selected maker of the CMS. In short, sinusulat dito na sinasabi ng DND sa Philippine Navy na sinintensya na ng uh, DND na itong uh, hanwa na ang gagawing combat management system. Next. May 22, 2017. Sumulat ulit si Colonel Mangoroban ng Philippine Navy Marines uh, in behalf of the Flag Officer in Command directed to Colonel De Rapaz of the DND. Ito ngayon, and I quote, request be informed that the PN, through the, fr the, the Frigate Acquisition Project team, reiterates and affirms earlier comment that the HHI selected Hanwa Naval Shield ICMS is not in accordance with the PN tactical and build specification of the CMS, wherein it is stated in para paragraph, uh, it's blurred, so section 7, CMS tactical specification of the DND FAP contract with HHI that the CMS must be of proven design and with a self amplification that prototypes or still development CMS are not allowed. So, kahit na nagsabi ng DND na pinili na niling Hanwa, sumagot yung Navy, again, it's not Admiral Mercado, it is uh, the staff of uh, the Philippine Navy na hindi uh, compliant itong Hanwa. Okay, next. Ngayon, ito yung CMS specifications checklist. Nakalagay dito. The CMS must be of proven design that is being used by at least one frigate or a similar type of naval vessel from the country of origin or being used by at least one frigate from two foreign countries. So prototypes, uh, derivatives of existing CMS are considered as long as it meets the PN frigate capability requirement. Prototypes or still in development, uh, CMS are not allowed. Okay, next. CMS will be compatible with TDL-16 upon delivery. Next. So August 10, 2017, memo to Chief of Staff, galing ito kay... Secretary Lorenzana, nakalagay, the Undersecretary for Finance and Material is hereby tasked to institute appropriate action with the end of view of implementing the contract agreement without delay and initiating coordinative action with Hyundai Heavy Industries on the full completion. So, ang significance sa ito, sulat na ito, ginawa ng uh, point man si uh, Yusek Elefante. Mamaya ko natin i-establish yung relationship ni Yusek Elefante. Next, so re respectfully forwarded is the memorandum directed by the SND resolving the issue of the CMS. August 31, sinasabi ulit ng ni Jose uh, Elefante sa chief of staff ng AP na itong CMS resolved na, which is yung Hanwa. Next, September 11, 2017, sumulak kay ASEC Jesus Villa, itong si uh, now Commodore Sean Anthony Villa, na siyang dating uh, member ng TWG 
Nakalagay, and I quote, The PN asserts that HHI has consistently excluded, excluded the respective service in the acquisition of a major weapon and non-weapon technology in violation of the objectives of Republic Act 10, 10349 or the New Modernization Law. Next. So dito, nakalagay, the legal basis for the PAP, FAP is RA 10... 349 or the revised AP modernization program which states that the capability, material, and technology development, the AP modernization program entails the development and employment of each certain capabilities that can address the, and, uh, the assess threats provided that the acquisition of Air Force, Navy, and Army equipment and material of such types and quantities shall be made in accordance with the need to develop AP capabilities pursuant to its modernization objectives. Number two, the modernization, the, the, the modernization projects under it, including the major weapon and non-weapon equipment and technology acquisitions sought by the respective services. Next. It should be understood that uh, FOIC PN as end user and the FAP TWG has denied acceding to this provision of the makers list and has deemed it grossly disadvantageous to the Philippine Navy and to the AFP DND as the buyer is being told by the seller on what to buy. Again, this was being pushed not by Admiral Mercado but one of the, uh, uh, or the member of the FAP Technical Working Group. Next. Clearly, it is the respective services that define the requirements in the acquisition of a major weapon, non-weapon technology and acquisitions. Verily, the respective services must never be excluded in the acquisition process of major weapon and non-weapons as the owner and end user of those equipment and technology. So uh, contrary to the assertion of Secretary Lorenzana, the major services should be involved every step of the way. HHI has consistently excluded the PN in the acquisition of major weapons and non-weapons equipment and technology. Next. November 3, 2017. To Vice Admiral Mercado, this is a letter by uh, Yusek Cardoso Luna of the DND to Flag Officer in Command uh, Mercado. And I quote, the SND also has also directed the FOIC PN to refrain from sending further communications to this department or from any of his subordinates relative to this CMS issue with a caution that this department will not entertain any communications or pleadings bearing on the same issue. The SND has also issued a warning that the PNs continued trifling with the DND's directive as stated in a memorandum dated August 10, 2017, and the approved steering committee resolution dated October 13, 2017, will be dealt with appropriate disciplinary action. So, ito, this is a, a threat already. But, nakita naman natin yung communication, the Navy was just following the law. Okay, next. Dito naman, November 6, 2017, sumulat si Admiral Mercado in response to the letter of USEC Luna. And I quote, the Navy wishes to inform the department that it has acknowledged receipt of the um, memorandum and will therefore, therefore proceed without haste on the execution of the project as per contract agreement. So ang sinasabi dito ni Admiral Mercado na ituloy natin, walang, uh, hindi kami humahad lang. Contrary again to the statement na hinaharang at uh, tinutulak yung uh, gusto nila. Next. On November 28, 2017, uh, memorandum to the flag officer in command from Raimundo Elefante, the USEC uh, from DND uh, Steering Committee. Ang nakalagay dito, based on the foregoing premises, this department assumes compliance of the given instruction. However, we have noticed that the required submission of the checklist for TIAC on November 20 and November 22 as contained in the memorandum of the Chief Dow dated 20 November has remained uncomplied and is long overdue. In this connection, you are hereby directed 
to submit within three days an explanation on why the required document, the checklist for uh, the critical design review, is not submitted on the requested date and why no disciplinary action shall be instituted. Failure to comply shall be dealt with uh, appropriate disciplinary action. Now what is uh, surprising dito sa sulat ni Yusek Elefante, wala siya nakasulat na by authority of the Secretary of National Defense. And may reminder, you, Sir Clifante, hindi ka part ng chain of command. You, you have no authority to write directly to, the, a, to a service um, service commander. So, dahil dito, parang uh, tinatakot niya eh, na wala naman siyang personality. Okay? Next. January 3, 2018, written by the Thales uh, Netherlands to the Department of National Defense. And I quote, assuming our information is correct, we would like to draw your attention to the fact that Thales withdrew from Hanwa Thales joint venture in 2016. As such, Hanwa Thales does not exist anymore. All cooperation with regard to the transfer of tactical software from Thales to Hanwa on CMS stopped in 2004. At that time, Thales' solution was Tactico's baseline zero based on processors and technology, which is totally obsolete and has been phased out of any Thales design since several years. Today, Thales is in no way connected to nor uh, supporting the Hanwa CMS that seems to be selected by Hanwa with approval of the DND. Hence, as Thales will not be involved in the provision of the CMS currently proposed by HHI or Hyundai, the wording Hanwa Thales CMS is deceiving. And in fact, it is against, uh, contrary to the contract uh, agreed on by the Philippines and uh, Hyundai. Next. So, uh, well, Mr. Chairman, I, uh, I integrate ko lang. Dito natin makikita na itong after the letter of uh, Yusek Elefante, surprisingly, nirelieve si Vice Admiral Mercado. And uh, gusto ko lang ma malaman, sir, from uh, Admiral Mercado, is meron bang delay na nakos itong exchange of, uh, of uh, letters nyo with the DND? Our exchanges with uh, our communication exchanges with the Department of National Defense, as you had your honor pointed out and shown, uh, just provided information to the secretary to make him aware that there are violations in the contract. On my side, those violations were raised to me by the project management team. I cannot force them to sign something which is violative of a provision of the contract. Kawawa naman sila ho. If during the audit by the Commission on Audit, when they subject the transaction to the provisions in the contract, they will be held legally liable. Uh, I've been in the service for a very, very long time and been involved in uh, briefings with the COA on the uh, audit observations that they have. It's very simple. They always view transactions based on the contract. So, ganun ho. So, nung, so wala, sir, wala, wala sir, delay. Itong CDR, yung critical design review na sinasabi ni Yusek Elefante, kailan ang deadline nito? Yung uh, deadline ito, niyan is uh, October 2017. And in my conversation with SND, I told them before October 2017, that is what we call as the design phase. It's just like building a house. You talk with your architect on the design of the house. So, mag-usap kayo. There's no need for us at that very moment to say yes, because we have a timeline which is October 2017. And sir, if I will be given a opportunity to show my uh, PowerPoint presentation, it is not only the CMS that was the issue on October 2017. Mm -hmm. There were deliverables required based on the contract to be submitted by Hyundai, which they did not submit on October 2017. So the question is, am I delaying? Or were they delaying the project because they did not submit the deliverables? Oh, okay, sir. Uh, sir, since uh, I consumed uh, a lot of time in my presentation, I'll just uh, ask a few questions to uh, Secretary Bongo. Uh, Secretary Go, uh, you mentioned that you merely acted on uh, 
the complaint. Uh, kaya ni refer nyo ito kay Secretary Lorenzana. Eh, is that correct, uh, Secretary Bongo? Uh, hindi po. Si Yusek Lau lang po ang nag-refer. Uh, wala po akong alam. Gaya na sinabi, alam. sinabi ko sa iyo kanina, wala po akong alam dito pati sa dokumento po. Okay, so wala kayong alam. Ngayon ito kasi, no, I, I clearly showed na itong Philippine Navy, to include Admiral Impedrad, ini-insist nila na ang pinakang magandang sistema and compliant with the law and do sa specifications it's, is itong tacticos. And yet, after na itong mahiwagang white paper na ito na yung tinutulak yung hanwa, suddenly, yun ang natuloy. Contrary to the wishes of the Philippine Navy, even at the expense of the career of uh, Admiral Mercado. So now, I'll, I'll go to um, uh, Yusek uh, Lau, sir. Please proceed. <coughs> Yusek Lau, nakita doon sa sulat, uh, papakita niyo yung sulat, yung uh, slide ng sulat ni, uh, ni Yusek Lau. January 12. 20, ay, uh, kailan ba to? January 18. Yung slide number 12. Anyway, sumulat ka sa Philippine Navy. Tatanungin kita, Yusek Lau. Ano, papa, what, who prompted you? At uh, sumulat ka sa Philippine Navy. Um, there are Koreans who complain in our office, Mr. Senator. There are Koreans Alam ba ito ni, uh, ni Secretary Bongo itong uh, pinatawag mo na meeting? No, 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 Senator. So you just took it upon yourself na sumulat ka sa, sa, uh, ano, sa Department of National Defense. Meron ka bang uh, uh, ganun ba ang way yung USEC susulatan yung, yung uh, SND, Secretary ng National Defense? As a, matter, bang, as, as a matter of procedure, all complaints kasi we entertain in our office. Okay. So, ito, may lumapit sa'yo. Sino'y lumapit sa'yo na Korean? Um, I cannot recall your... You cannot recall? recall? Yes. You cannot recall? Very convenient ngayon yung you cannot recall eh. Ngayon, sino yung mga umaten? Saan Doon po? sa meeting na yun? Saan meeting? Which meeting? Sa, uh, which, uh, with the Navy, nung pinatawag mo? Um, we believe it's, it's several Navy personnel. Okay. Uh, who among the uh, Navy officers here present uh, attended? Sir, I was the chairman of the technical work. Okay, Admiral, aside from Admiral uh, Empedrad, who, who else? Okay, Commodore Villa. Uh, tsaka Commander, Captain Bartolome. So, Commodore Villa, may I ask, Ano ang sinabi ni, ni uh, when you presented doon sa office ni, U, ni Yusek Lau, ano yung pagkakaintindi nyo? Nagpe-present nagpe kayo? Ano yung, brief, uh, ano yung introduction niya uh, about the matter? Sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Sir, uh, my participation during that time is I am the Commander Offshore Combat Force and I am not yet the head of the project management team. It is during that time na uh, ito yung nag-OJT parang ako. Sumama ko doon and uh, the presentation uh, is based on the comparison ng dalawang CMS. Yes. And then hanggang doon lang po yun. And then yung uh, it is uh, the head of the project management team, the person of Admiral Empedrad, siya po nag-present. Yes, but uh, you, you still heard ko ano sinabi ni Yusek Clau na Pinapunta ko kay Rito, ano yung sinabi niya sa inyo uh, na background in relation to that meeting sa Malacanang uh, Commodore Villa? Ang uh, natandaan ko lang doon is that uh, they appreciate the presentation and then they ask the project management management team for a report, written report. And, uh, and then ang parang guidance is that uh, kailangan natin yung magandang quality na barko. Uh, sinabi ba niya, sir, na itong meeting na to ay sanctioned ni, uh, or at least alam, ni Secretary Bongo? Uh, hindi ko na po natandaan yung ganong statement. Hindi niyo na natandaan. Uh, so, kayo, pumunta kayo doon with the understanding na you're just presenting to an undersecretary of uh, uh, the project management staff? Yes, sir. No. So, Ang, ang mahiwaga dito 
na dahil dito sa meeting na ito, nagbago ang ihip ng hangin ng DND na based on the records, uh, without even uh, Secretary Lorenzana's uh, signature, ang mga sumusulat sa Navy are yung mga undersecretaries niya. Suddenly, ang impression based on what I presented, yung hanwa na ang itinutulak contrary to the wishes of the Philippine Navy. Uh, so, may, may impression ba kayo, sir, na uh, bak kung bakit nagkaganon? Anong uh, palagay ninyo? Uh, sir, as the uh, head of the project management team, wala po akong knowledge kung ano po yung napag-usapan nila. Kung nag-usapan sila what, wala po akong knowledge. Ang after lang po namin is to advise the Department of National Defense on technical matters. Yes. And uh, I also affirm yung sinasabi ni Vice Admiral Mercado na uh, wala siyang personal knowledge na nakialam si uh, Secretary Bongo, but at the same time, you'll have to concede na hindi nyo alam din, wala rin kayong personal knowledge about conversations ni uh, Secretary Bongo and the Yusek Elefante. You would have no way of knowing it. I do not have any knowledge okay. on that. Okay. So, you will not uh, rule that out also, uh, Admiral Mercado? I'll just state that I do not have any knowledge. Okay. And th that's fair enough. Sir? Sa next round, can I ask? Thank you, uh, Senator Trillanes. Before, uh, by the way, Senator Binay will not be asking questions anymore. <coughs> Before I recognize Senator uh, Villar, uh, two concerns. I will ask Vice Admiral Mercado first, and then Secretary Lorenzana. Two points. <clears throat> Which is, one, our protocol for communicating with each other. Uh, Vice Admiral Mercado, do you allow or did you authorize any of your subordinates I'm just asking, I'm not saying violating anything, no? to communicate laterally with the subordinates of the Secretary of National Defense. Is there any authority to do that? In this case, sir, there will be moments that uh, they will be writing directly to their counterparts in the Department of National Defense. The project management team is under the Defense Acquisition Office. And they could exchange uh, communications pertaining to the implementation of the contract. I come only into the picture when the project management team sees a problem whenever they undertake coordination. Kasi yun yung instruction ko sa kanila. Follow what is written in the contract. Kung namung problema kayo, doon ako papasok. Because I'm the Navy, I was the Navy chief. I should support them. So they are, there are instances then uh, communications are written by Commodore M. Pedrad addressed to the DAO. And uh, both of us, uh, the Secretary of National Defense and me, there are times that we do not know that these communications are being exchanged. Wait. My communication with the Secretary of National Defense is when issues are something that cannot be resolved by the project management team. That's where I get into the picture, Your Honor. Okay. Uh uh, Vice Admiral Mercal, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just asking if, as per regulations, as per practice, as per tradition, this is allowed. Uh, that's my only question. No, 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 no need to... Yes, sir. Wait. For the acquisition... So, yes, as sir. far as you're concerned at your level, uh, are we to be... Is your committee uh, made to understand na yung command line wala na yun? It's, this is not between the FOIC in the SND or the chief of staff, you have allowed, you are allowing your subordinates to coordinate directly with their counterparts. What yes. Are. Yeah. Yes. That's correct. Again. Okay. Let me go ask the same question from uh, Secretary Lorenzo. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Okay. So that's authorized. Huh? Second, we are talking about combat management systems, costing about 16 billion. Are these documents? Classified accordingly. Do you classify them according to yes, sir. normal security classification? Yes, sir. Yes, Pero sir. Pero ba tayong top secret? Oh. Secret. Oh, confidential. Diba? Confidential is secret. Yeah. 
Uh, do you confirm this also? Yes. Yes, yes Your Honor. So uh, the question in the mind of the chair is how do these things find their way to those who do not need to know, including handwritten? I mean, for media to be in the security classification loop, your chair is rather not only awkward, but in imp it impacts on national security. By the way, no need for an answer. Huh? I'm just asking this question. Okay? So let me now turn to Senator Villar. Sir, Chairman, <coughs> just to pursue the point that you... Senator Laxon is recognized. With the, the permission, permission of Senator, Senator Villar. Villar. Uh, related to sa sinasabi niya, sa pagpipirma, no? yung appended uh, annex na sa tingin ko pinagsimulan lahat ng gulo dahil na incorporated sa contract agreement was signed by Major Dayao. Who authorized you to sign? You were a junior member of the TWG. And there were several members of the TWG. And you alone signed the annex that the other members are disowning, hindi ba? Sabi nila, wala sa minutes yon, but you signed the annex that was inserted or incorporated doon sa mismong contract agreement. Who authorized you to sign that? Sir, uh, the document, uh, that the, the maker's list was the product of the workshop. And uh, before the contract signing, it is a customary practice in the DND. I'm the legal officer of the project, sir. So it's a customary practice that uh, the legal officer will s uh, put his initial on the pages of the attachments to the contract. So that maker's list, sir, was part of the attachment of the contract, along with the building specification and the general arrangement of the project. So I signed all those uh, documents, sir. And you maintain that the annex, kasama do sa na, take, na taken up, do sa TWG? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll give it to Senator Villar. Thank you, Senator Laksona. Senator Rasincha Villar is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you know, I'm just an ordinary senator who's not familiar with these uh, things. I just want to clarify uh, things that I have read about this transaction. Uh, I just want to ask Secretary Lorenzana, what is the uh, background of Garden Rich Shipbuilders and Engineer, GRRSE, because uh, they are uh, it's the company which gave the lowest bid to this transaction. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Garden Rich uh, of India uh, won initially during the first round of this. This is a uh, two, two, uh, two stage bidding. <clears throat> the first stage, uh, Garden Rich won because it is the lowest calculated bid. It, it submitted the lowest calculated bid. Now, during the second stage of uh, bidding, when the uh, Technical Working Group or uh, Bids and Awards Committee went to India to uh, to post qualify the uh, the company. They found out that uh, it failed the uh, NFCC or the Net Financing Contracting Capacity. When uh, it filed its bid, uh, between the filing of its bid and uh, the post qual. Garden Ritz uh, accepted the contract with the uh, Indian Navy worth three bill three uh, three billion dollars, uh, one hundred fifty-four billion pesos. So, come on, come on, capitalization nila, and uh, by law, that is part of the uh, things that uh, the Bits and Awards Committee uh, look at in the company. So, because of that, uh, ang kanyang uh, net contracting capacity is uh, negative uh, 68 billion. So, hindi na po siya capable na mag-accept ng uh, additional uh, contract. So, na, na post disqualified na siya. So, yeah. uh, yung uh, BAC went to the next uh, lowest calculated bid, which is Hyundai. Kaya po Hyundai ngayon ang ating uh, kausap. So, yun po ang ibig sabihin ng net financial contracting capacity. Opo. opo. O, kasi yung, yung ordinary tao would, wouldn't understand net, net financial contracting, contracting capacity. capacity. Oh. So, ibig sabihin nun, wala silang enough capital, capital to do the to, project. To, to, And then you gave 
the contract to Hyundai because they have the lowest calculated responsive bid. They are considered the lowest calculated responsive bidder, LCRB. Ano po ibig sabihin ng lowest calculated responsive bidder? Okay, uh, spin nga, uh, Ernie, uh, Major uh, Dinal Buak. Uh, Madam Senator, uh, during the evaluation, initial evaluation of the bids, uh, we look into the documents and again a checklist of requirements for the legal, technical, and financial documents. Uh, we they either uh, are rated, uh, failed, or passed. That then reads in the initial evaluation uh, was rated as passed. But eventually, when we went to the post-qualification stage, that is to ascertain and validate their statements and their documents which were submitted during the SOBE, they failed in the financial requirements, particularly the net financial contracting capacity. Yeah, the, you, yes, ma'am. Uh, Tatanong natin, ano ibig sabihin ng lowest calculated responsive bidder? Uh, when we say uh, lowest calculated responsive bidder, uh, we have validated in the post-qualification that they are eligible to undertake the project based on the submissions of documents and the findings in the, the post-qualification stage of the bidding process. So, ibig sabihin po noon, sila yung next bidder na may financial capability to do it. That's uh, correct. Uh, uh, para uh, maintindihan uh, ng mga ordinary na mga uh, tao. So, uh, yun lang po. I just want to clarify why we went to the next bidder para naman naiintindihan ng mga tao yung mga basis natin pag uh, reject natin ng isang supplier. So, Madam, yun lang po. Madam Senator, may I explain further that... Uh, if we did not declare Garden Ridge as ineligible, uh, post disqualified, they may not have the appropriate cash flow to sustain the manufacture of the frigate project. Yun lang po, marami pong salamat. Thank you, uh, Senator Villar. Be before I recognize, the chair recognizes Senator Pacquiao, I forgot to ask Secretary Lorenzana. No? Uh, Vice Admiral Mercado. How did we classify what was the classification of documents, any document, related to the frigate project? Uh, uh, by the way, this is not defined by the contents, no? This is defined by something that is written top, bottom, and a covering page. Whether top secret, secret, confidential, or restricted. May, uh, by the way, this is not a trick question. Huh? I'm, not, I'm not catching anybody. I'm not fault-finding. Le let me ask first, Vice Admiral Bacar. How did we classify these documents according to need to know, the sensitivity of the project, the security implications? Sir, my understanding was that even in the bidding process, there's a non-disclosure agreement uh, signed. And, uh, well, all the members of the technical working group are also bound by, by that agreement. The thing is, and uh, I hope uh, this can be looked into by this body, in the public hearing, during the opening of the bids, the bids are, or, or the technical proposals are announced. So this is what was offered, and, and all the other proponents are invited to witness the public bidding. Okay. So, but, it, 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 uh, it's non-disclosure, so, but then yes. there are others who are able to view the public bidding. That's I, all. I'm right. not being technical. I'm just looking at this from the purely security viewpoint. Any project as sensitive as this, I'm just asking, yes. paano natin klinasify? Para we can develop some consistency, but please do not throw the ball back at us. I'm asking this to be your concern. It's not the concern of the committee to classify it. We're the, in this case, we're the end user here to evaluate documents. Let me ask Secretary Lorenzana, what was, to the best of your knowledge, what was the security classification of these documents 
which were the subject of communications based on lateral coordination between the subordinates of the flag officer in command and the Secretary of National Defense. I'm just asking. Confidential, sir. Confidential? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, do you confirm that? Okay. Let me, uh, thank you. Let me recognize, let the chair recognize Senator Pacquiao. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, to um, Secretary uh, uh, Lorenciana, um, sir, uh, you signed a um, notice to award uh, notice of award to uh, Hyundai, uh, August 18, 2016. Is that correct? That is correct, uh, Senator. Okay. Uh, is it uh, correct for me to say that uh, the pending case uh, of uh, it is I was not taken into consideration since it was not part of the uh, qualification criteria? Uh, I beg your pardon, uh, Senator. What, uh, the, can, can you repeat the question, please? Um, despite of uh, in ba na consider na consider yung uh, problema ng Hyundai na may problema may kaso sila uh, uh, sa pag-approve niyo ng uh, pag pag award niyo ng uh, nung uh, nung uh, August 18 to 2016 yeah. hindi uh, senator dahil hindi namin alam na meron silang pending case uh, we did not also ask them, kasi ang sabi nila, bakit, uh, hindi, one of the questions na tinanong namin kahapon, eh, why we're not informed, because nobody asked them. Uh, pumotok na lang yan, nung uh, December 2017, nung uh, final na yung, uh, yung uh, ruling ng Supreme Court nila, na dininay yung kanilang appeal, na pumotok sa, sa Jario. And then, pinick up na yan ng ating mga news, uh, news, uh, news uh, media rito, kaya natin nalaman. So, by, the, by then, napirmahan ko na yung kontrata. Oh. But, but uh, let me ask you directly, uh, kung alam mo yung problema, uh, kung may problema ang Hyundai, will you sign the uh, uh, notice of award? No. No, I will not. Okay. Uh, just uh, for clarification, um, follow up. Uh, when you receive uh, letters from uh, the office of PMS, uh, 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 office of Bongo, what did you do? Um, anong ginawa niyo po? Ang ginawa ko, Senator, binasa ko, uh, tinanong ko, uh, sabi ko sa sarili ko, ang makakasagot nitong mga issues na yon ay yung uh, flag of president command. So I uh, pasted a uh, post-it note uh, sabi ko, Ronald, can you look at this and make a report? Agadal po ang istorya niyan. Okay. Uh, tanong directly for clarification then. Uh, nag, nag, after you received the letter from uh, the office of uh, Bongo, nakatanggap ka ba o nag-follow up ba si Bongo about the letters? The letter? Wala. Hindi, Senator. Never. Never did we, never did we speak about that at all. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, to uh, uh, Secretary of uh, Budget, uh, uh, Jukno, um, is it legal to change uh, specification after uh, opening of bids? Um, legal, le legal, Bayan? As a matter of uh, rules, sir, as far as I know, no? hindi ko pwede na magpalit ng ng uh, specs after after the uh, opening of the bid. Hindi na pwede nga. Hindi na pwede po. Okay. Just for uh, clarification. Uh, kay, uh, kasi marami na natanong kay uh, Secretary uh, uh, Bongo. Uh, pare. Paano nyo ba pinaprocess yung mga papers uh, for clarification lang? When you receive the, maraming mga nagre-request sa, sa, sa opisina ninyo, paano nyo, uh, I'm sure, uh, hindi mo lahat ng, lahat ng papers, hindi mo uh, nababasa lahat at pinababasa mo lang doon sa mga, sa tao mo. Paano napaprocess at na, 
uh, pagkatapos mo ibigay doon sa kung saan agency, uh, nagpa-follow up ka ba o binibigay mo lang at uh, based on the, the request of uh, sinong nagbigay ng mga papers? Your Honor, pag may laman naman yung complaint, uh, nire-refer po namin sa appropriate uh, departments or agencies. At uh, minsan naman ay sumasagot naman sila. Uh, yung iba naman, humihingi ng tulong, uh, hospital, medisina. So, uh, binibigyan rin natin ng tulong. Ipaiba-iba pong uh, dokumento po kapasok sa amin. Pinisan ko po kanina 23,000 as of today po ang pumasok ng mga dokumento sa opisina namin. Okay, uh, direct question na... Uh... Paano na may idea ka ba paano na dawit o dinawit yung pangalan mo dito sa issue na to? Your Honor, actually, in-explain in ko kanina nandito pa si Senator Trillanes. Nakita ko lang po ito nung lumabas na po sa Rappler yung papel. Sinasabi nga ni Senator Trillanes na hindi raw, hindi raw fake news yan. Masasabi ko pong fake news yan, uh, Your Honor. Mr. Chair, may, ah. may, uh, for the benefit of those who do not see that, may we, is, may we ask sir. that uh, it be read uh, sir, so, so that we can place it into the records? Sir, may i-explain ko mo lang po, sandalo. Okay, okay explain. Kaya ako nasabing fake news po ito, kasi unang-una, um, ang pinag... Nakalagay, oh, Bongo intervenes in 15.5 project to acquire uh, Philippine warships. Na, malisyoso. Hindi pa nga nila sigurado kung nag-intervene ako. Alam ko ito, intervenes ka agad. Pangalawa, yung amount, 15.5 billion. Ano bang pinag-aayawan dito? Kanina pa tayo mag-uusap dito. CMS. Hindi na yung ship mismo. Pero nilagay nila 15.5 billion. Pangatlo. Nakalagay dyan, binaliktad ko yung decision. Binaliktad ko ba? Meron ba akong ginawang pagbabaliktad? Your Honor. Andi dito naman po lahat ng mga gentleman na from Philippine Navy. Sir, since nandito na rin tayo, pwede nyo isa-isahin lahat. Kung meron ba akong tinawagan, tinanong, o nag-influence man na ako na para ibaliktad. Isa lang. Pag may nakapagturo, paglabas ko rito, I will resign. Pag merong kapagsabi na, if I intervene. Kung meron man. So, uh, since binigyan niyo na po akong pagkakataon, Masyadong mahaba yung technical na in-explain ni Senator Trillanes kanina. Sasagutin ko lang po kung ano yung trabaho namin. Yung trabaho ng PMS, uh, kung merong complaint. At hindi, hindi po nag-intervene si, si Yusek Lau. Wala siyang ginawang intervention, wala siyang ginawang pakikialam at nag-influence sa mga Navy na to na ganito. Wala po. Tinawag lang niya, pinakinggan lang po niya. Hanggang doon lang po. Pwede nyo naman pag tanongin yung mga Navy. Um, since napag-usapan po natin itong um, fake news, sir, aside from the... Na, nag-umpisa po ito sa story ng inquirer noong umaga. Okay, slide. Yan. Palace had special interest in Navy selection of weapon system supplier. So, ma medyo malisyoso. Hindi pa nga sila siguradong may pakikialam na ginawa. Yan yung umaga. Nung gabi, yun na yung lumabas yung itong intervenes. So, nagalit nga si Pangulong Duterte nung sabi niya, you prove it in 24 hours, Bongo will resign. Lumampas na lang po ang 24 hours. Wala naman silang na-prove. Actually, yung pinusyan ni Senator Trillanes kanina, exactly the same documents na nilabas ni Congressman Alejano sa Rappler. The same. Ang hirap intindihin eh kasi tech, masyadong technical. Ganito na lang po. Tutulungan ko na lang po ang 
taong bayan para maintindihan niya. In layman's term lang po ito. Uh, medyo sa, si, sa simpleng pagkukumpara. Umula, itong proyekto na to tapos na to eh. Uh, nung March, uh, nagkaroon ng opening. Nung June 2016, March, uh, panahon ng Aquino administration, June 14, hindi ko to malilimutan kasi birthday ko to. Uh, nag-post qualify sila sa Hyundai. Pinirmahan ni Secretary Lorenzano yung kontrata noong October 24 ayon sa pagsusuri na namin. January, itong pumutok itong issue na to. Ang tanong dyan is all, all our part lang ha. Pwede pa ba kaming makialam? Pwede pa ba naming baguhin? Ang mga kasagot sila, wala. Walang nakialam, walang binago, at hindi kami pakilamero. Simple yung pagkukumpara lang po. Itong ship na to, kulwari, ito yung Hyundai Starex. Binili na nila in order. Gusto ngayon ng, ng uh, Hyundai, bumili ng uh, choice nila na sound system. Hindi ko naman minamaliit, pero para maintindihan lang po ng taong bayan. Sound system, gusto nila Samsung kasi kapwa nila Koreano. At gusto naman ng, siguro ng Navy, ng higher brand. Siguro mas maganda yung tunog, gusto nila yung boss. At nire-respeto naman natin yan. Hindi ko lang ma-explain yan, trabaho na po nila. Yan yung pinag-aawayan ngayon dito. Ito yung kanina pa nilang naubos na po yung oras natin dito sa kaka... Hindi, hirap pa intindi. So, in-explain ko na lang po. So, yan yung layman's uh, explanation. Balik ako dito sa fake news na to, sir. Ito naman pong Rappler. Aside sa tatong issues, nag-intervene, yung amount, malisyoso, hindi naman yung amount na yung pinag-usapan. At binaliktad ko. Ito ako matatawag na fake news. Malis sobrang malisyoso. Meron pang isang report yung Rappler. Pakita niyo po. Regarding revolutionary government, EAP, DND, Assured Verde, No Super Prude. Not, yung, yung, yung side lang ni Verde yung pinakinggan nila. Tapos ngayon, sinasabi nila na ganon. Pina, tanongin nyo si SND, tinanong ba nila? Kung sinabi ni SND yun? Chief of Staff Guerrero, tinanong ba nila? Kung sinabi, sinabi nila yun? Masyado malisyoso. Iniintriga nila si SND, si Guerrero, kay Pangulo para magalit si Boso kanila. Yan yung mga fake news na sinasabi ko. Um, sana kinuha mo na nila ang panig ni SND at saka ni Sisa. Another, et, vlog lang po ito ah. O hindi ko alam ba sinong nag, ano. Another classic example of fake news. So, Please, pakiwan anong... Hindi niya ma-play? Ito. Yun know, o, lumabas na isang araw. Pero yun yung puro mga litrato dyan. Litrato ng story ng CMS, picture ni Lorenzana, D&D, Asuro Brother, no support for... Nangingintriga po. Inuudyo ka ng Pilipino na mag kasi malapit na yung EDSA. Anniversary. Alam niyo po, nagsalita na ang Pilipino with 16 million votes. Hanggang ngayon, ang popularity ni President Duterte, 80%. Kasi po, alam lang tao nagtatrabaho siya. Hindi pa ba sapat ito na mandato ng, ng Pilipino? Inuudyo ka nila na mag EDSA 3. Sa tingin mo ba, magpapaloko pang mga sundalo? Alam naman nila na mahal ng Pangulo ang kasundaluan. Nagtatrabaho. Hindi po sa inaano ko si, si Pangulo. Ako kasi yung nakakakita araw-araw sa ginagawa niya. Nagtatrabaho araw-araw kahit sa edad niya. Nakita niyo naman, siyam na beses pumunta ng Marawi. Inaabot ng gabi sa lugar ng digmaan. Ito ang pangulo nagpapakamatay sa bayan. Ngayon, I am fully requesting the 
Senate na ipatawag naman ulit to resume the hearings on fake news at ipatawag ang gumagawa nito. At sagutin nila ang pangintriga, pag-u-joke, at paninira. Pwede naman siguro sa Public Order and Security or any appropriate committee. This is serious. Inintriga nyo ang Chief of Staff, ang SND, na alam naman natin matatalino at magagalang ang mato. Ang problema sa fake news na ito, ang satisfaction nilang sumulat ng paninira. Rappler, sana sumulat naman kayo ng magagandang pangyayari. Mga katuloy pa ba kayo niyan? Para na rin, nyo, para na rin kayo nakapatay ng tao, makonsensya naman kayo. Victim na ako dito. I am challenging Rappler and Inquirer to put on your headline tomorrow. Paano naman? Kailan, kailan ba sinulat na bongo, innocent, and did not intervene? Bakit puro intervene? Puro bad news. Alam, alam ko alam nyo. Alam nyo, ang nangyari, you are undermining the duly constituted authorities. President Duterte is mandated by the people. Nagsalita na ang taong bayan, antayin na lang po ninyo ang inyong panahon. Nagmamadali po masyado kayo. 2022, uuwi na po kami ng Dabao. Salamat. Thank you, uh, Secretary Bungo. Uh, to, uh, to to our um, um, FYC, um, MP, uh, MP Drad. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, for the record, ano po ang uh, papili niyo sa pre-grade acquisition uh, project? Me. Before you continue, para Senator Grace will not lose her train of thought. Uh, Senator Grace Poe would like to manifest something for the record. Okay. With the permission With of permission. Senator Pacquiao, uh, dahil po nabanggit ninyo yung sa fake news at ito po ay sa public information, ito po ay nagpapasalamat na nilalabas ninyo yung importansya nito na malaman ng ating mga kababayan ang tamang informasyon. Uh, I assure you that we are having the next meeting also with other social media companies being present. I understand how you feel. Uh, minsan po lahat tayo nabibiktima. Halimbawa, ang isang kasulatan o isang impormasyon uh, ginagawa ng ibang headline na wala namang talagang referral doon sa mga nakasulat. So, yun po ay ating didinigin. Maraming salamat, Senator Pacquiao. Thank you, Senator Po. Uh, Thank Senator you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Um, ano po ang inyong papel sa Frigate Acquisition Project? Uh, Your Honor, I was the former chairman of the Technical Working Group nung nagkaroon ng bidding para sa Frigate Acquisition Project. Uh, pers parang personal ito. Uh, do you have the capability to verify, validate, uh, and confirm if the NSI CMS is uh, truly co compet uh, compatible? We, we, we went to uh, a ship during the PQ, uh, Your Honor. We inspected the new West Frigate of the Republic of Korean Navy. That uh, includes the member of the technical working group. And we saw for ourselves na yung ikakabit na ICMS, uh, CMS sa frigate natin was installed in the new West Frigate of the Korean Navy. That is our basis why uh, we... Yes, my, 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 my question is, uh, do you have the capability to uh, verify, validate, and confirm? We don't have, Mr. Your, Your Honor. You don't have? Okay. Um, how would you ensure the personnel uh, capability in operating the, the frigates? Paano nyo ma masigurado yung, uh, no. yung mga personnel natin na uh, alam nila i-operate yung uh, uh, frigates natin? Uh, before the frigate will be delivered, Your Honor, our uh, personnel, we will be coming up with crew that will proceed to Korea, that is six months or even one year before the delivery, to do training. Uh, sabi nga nung, ano, sir, ng Hyundai, if the, uh, specific, the, if the subsystems that will be delivered to our ship will be Korean products, it is the Korean na Navy that will train our personnel. Ilang buwan sila mag-training? Sir, uh, the entire uh, crew will go there three months before, but some of the more important uh, technical uh, 
uh, subsystems, pupunta yung ating mga crew, mga six, even six months before the uh, delivery of the ship. Okay. Uh, sa sistema natin ngayon, ano pa ba talaga ang kulang natin uh, for uh, uh, to uh, modernize our uh, uh, equipment um, in Philippine Navy? Um, uh, sir, we, we have a lot of concerns in the Navy, uh, Your Honor. But for me, the future of naval warfare is submarine warfare. And I believe that if you want to get the respect of other foreign countries or foreign navy, we should acquire our submarines. Kasi yun ang pinakamahirap pinakamara- hanapin. Sabi nga nila, mahirap kalabanan yung kalaban na hindi natin nakikita. So if we have the submarines, I'm sure uh, the other uh, uh, powerful navies will respect the Philippine Navy if we get a submarine, Your Honor. Okay, um, this was to uh, the issue of Hanwa Systems. Um, what is the capability of Hanwa Systems to produce uh, the combat uh, management system uh, despite of uh, separation from uh, uh, Thales? Actually, Your Honor, after the separation, Hanwa continues to provide the combat management system to the Korean Navy. Just last February of uh, this year, a new Korean frigate was delivered, and what was installed there is the ICMS uh, combat management system. That's what that was manufactured by the Hanwa system, uh, yung company niyan, Your Honor. There's uh, an allegation from uh, 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 Thales that uh, by choosing uh, Naval Shield, uh, the selected equipment would provide the Philippine Navy with a less uh, capable warship. Uh, what can you say about this? That's not true, Your Honor, because uh, during the SOBE, as I, as I, I said a while ago, nung SOBE and the uh, post-qualification, the technical working group already passed as uh, qualified, rated pass and qualified the uh, Hanwa CMS. And ang issue kasi dito, Your Honor, is about TDL-16. Tama yung sabi ni Senator Escudero that yung TDL-16 naman ay ikakabid din naman ng Hanwa before the delivery of the ship. So bakit natin pag yung TDL-16? Ang gusto kasi, yung sinasabi kasi ni Commodore Villa, ang issue is the compatibility with TDL-16. Pero nagbigay na ng conformance yung Hanwa that the TDL-16 is compatible to ICMS. And that before the delivery of the ship, which is 2020, ikakabid din naman yung TDL-16. So bakit pag pa yung TDL-16? Uh, we cannot uh, disqualify Hanwa because uh, ang sabi is uh, hindi compatible sa TDR-16. But as the FOIC PN, if the ship will be delivered and the Hanwa system will not be compatible to the TDR-16, we will not accept the ship when it's delivered in 2020. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I have no further question. Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Pakia. Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes. Mayor, Mayor Chris, for uh, 10 minutes, so we'll just present the... Uh, our point namin, kaya na pa namin gusto pakita to. Begin, uh, can, can miss you. It's because there are lots of information that uh, will already supply those uh, questions that you may ask. Thank you, Secretary Ronsana. True to form, you anticipated the Chairman. Yes, sir. So, uh, okay. Mr. Chairman, I will not be asking too many questions, so if it's all right with the Secretary. Of, uh, Secretary Lorenzana. Next. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, may I may I know why you said uh, he was able to anticipate? Uh, what class were you in, uh, Secretary Lorenzo? Uh, class 73, uh, Senator. So He's you were uh, you playbook on the playbook on the Senator Ronasan. Senator Ronasan, sir. Were you, w- what squad were you in, Lakson or Ronasan? Uh, both, sir. I served him both uh, squad leader kapareho sila. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the compliment, Secretary Lorenzan. Uh, with the permission of Secretary Lorenzana, we'll recognize Senator Subiri yes, sir. for a few questions. And then I'll ask the others who are on the order of uh, uh, in which they arrived no? for permission so that those who want to present PowerPoint uh, presentations, no? to make PowerPoint presentations, will be given opportunity to give those who will ask questions a broader view. Yes, sir. Okay, That's so, the total. Oh. Senator Subiri? Thank you, Mr. Mo- Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Secretary. Just to be short, I won't be asking too many questions because I fully support the Navy procurement program and modernization. Yung akin lang kay Secretary Bongo, 
hindi to katanungan because I'd like to put on record, I have known Secretary Bongo for almost 20 years, Mr. Chairman, when he was then a young executive assistant of then Congressman Rodrigo Roa Duterte. And Mr. Chairman, I'd like to put on record, not once did I hear anything, uh, anything, any complaint against him. Ni minsan, ba, na, ni minsan po ako nakarinig na mga complaints laban sa kanya during that time when his principal was a congressman and mayor of Davao City. Singil, silingan man po ta, taga Mindanao po ko, I'm from, da, uh, from Bukidnon, you're from Davao, we share the same boundary. Dito ko gauli sa Bukidnon, muhagi ko Davao. We have a lot of friends who are in business in Davao, being chairman of the Committee on Trade and Industry. Marami po tayong nakakausap na businessmen na gumagawa ng negosyo sa Davao City. At ni minsan silang narinig na masama na ginawa si Secretary Bongo. Each time they would ask assistance to him to facilitate para hindi sila ma-red tape, never si Secretary Bongo humingi ng lagay ng fixer's fee, ng porcento sa negosyo, wala. He just did his job judiciously, religiously, and he did it well. Kaya, all of this that's coming out now, I agree, is fake news. Eh, ayaw nga niya mailagay sa limelight, Mr. Chairman. Sa totoo lang, when he's being photographed and the President is there, pinagagalitan niya yung mga napapafoto sa kanya dahil ayaw niya mangibabaw sa kanyang principal. And to put it lightly, the only time that he allows himself to shine and be on the limelight is when he's on top of the stage singing his karaoke songs. Magaling po yan kumanta, Chairman. Sa totoo lang. That's the only time. And he does this off hours. Pag nakapahinga na po ang ating Pangulo sa kanyang tahanan. You know, he has characteristics, Mr. President, Mr. Chairman, that are solely lacking in many public officials and public servants. Loyalty, humility, and honesty. So I can vouch for his credibility, knowing him for that long. So, Secretary, ako hindi naniniwala dyan sa mga fake news na yan. Having said that, at hindi po ako tinawagan ni Secretary, I haven't spoken to him for months, siguro weeks, but tagal na kami din nag-usap, kaya hindi to planted information. This comes from the heart, being a fellow Mindanawan, and neighbor in Mindanao. Having said all this, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to also share this. Yesterday, pag uwi ko galing kagayan di Oro, riding in Cebu Pacific on my way home, uh, landing on my way back to Manila, I looked on the left side of my window at may nakita po akong napagandang barko. And this was the U.S. aircraft carrier. I forget which USS Carl Vinson's was parked on the left side. And I said, wow, ang ganda naman nito. It's so imposing. Napakaganda, napaka iba ang dating nitong uh, barko na ito. And I said to myself, kailan kaya tayo magkakaganito? And I said, um, now is the time under the president's watch that we truly modernize our armed forces, lalo-lalo ating mga Navy personnel. And... For the record, I'm truly supportive of the modernization program, especially on the frigates. Um, not only frigates, but also patrol ships. And ang sinabi, and you hit, it, you hit the nail right on the head, uh, Admiral uh, Empedrad, Emper, Empedrad, is the need for submarines. All our na almost all the major ASEAN neighbors have this. Thailand has submarines. Malaysia has submarines. Indonesia has submarines. Even Vietnam has submarines. Tayo lang ang wala at napakalawak na ating coastline. And we're having external and internal threats. Tama po sinabi mo. Itong pinakamahirap hanapin, itong mga submarines na ito. Even a diesel-run, um, battery-powered uh, submarine uh, from coming from the modern suppliers is sufficient enough. And I think, alam po ni Secretary ito because he went to Russia, I believe President Putin even had mentioned to the president, because the president himself told us this in a dinner, na nag-offer po si President Putin sa atin ng submarine. I think we should take that offer. Um, so my question actually is not on the men and women of 
the Navy and the Armed Forces because they only deserve the best. They deserve the best. Admiral Mercado, you're doing a good job because your people deserve the best. Um, sometimes, unfortunately, the cheapest is not the best. At dyan po ang limitations ng ating Procurement Act. Kaya ang katanungan ko po ay nandito kay Secretary Lorenzana and of course I'll start with Secretary Jokno on how to improve the procurement law to best equip our military, lalo la our Navy, in patrolling our shores for external and internal defense. So, um, Secretary Ben, are there steps uh, done by your office, uh, SEC, on how we can improve the procurement uh, uh, program, lalo na on the defense uh, spending? And if you have uh, proposals to amend the Procurement Act on exemptions when it comes to necessary equipment for our men and women of the armed forces. Napakalawak po ng tanong na yan, no? baka butin tayo ng ilang oras dito. But uh, to make the long story short, I think the procurement reform law right now is reputed to be one of the best in the world. Okay? And you don't need to amend the law because uh, we can just change the IRR, implementing rules and regulations. But I'm open to any improvement in the procurement reform law for as long as you can guarantee that the new procurement law that will come out of Congress is better than the existing procurement act. Because, because baka mayari po ay mas ma water down, mas pumangit po yung procurement reform law natin. No? And uh, marami pong modality naman eh. In fact, uh, pero tayong government to government and I think we have done that. No? Kung kailangan yung talagang security reason, hindi kailangan naka-expose yung mga detalye. And uh, it's, it's just a matter of, uh, to me, the right implementation of the law. Kasi uh, hindi po natin makakaila ma na marami po din na ginigame nila yung system, eh, yung, yung procurement law. No? And uh, in fact, uh, from what I heard here, dapat hindi ko nangyayari talaga yun na after the award or <laughs> na-pesqual na, papaltan mo pa yung detalye. That's, that, that is really one way of... Uh, circumventing the procurement law. Okay. The reason I take this up, uh, Mr. Uh, Secretary, Mr. Secretary, and Mr. Chairman, is because minsan yan po nagiging hadlang sa mga implementation na ng mga projects. Dahil yung lowest bidder, which is not necessarily the best equipment, dito, I'm only talking about the Armed Forces uh, uh, per modernization program, ay minsan yung second or yung lowest bidder ay nagpa-file nag, nag, nag po ng kaso sa korte at nagiging hadlang sa implementation ng uh, pagbili nito mga kagamitan nito na kailangan nating men and women of the armed forces. I've heard ilang hearing na po na nangyari, not only in this Congress but in several other Congresses, na the delay of the delivery ang kawawa po ng ating mga kapatid sa armed forces. Lalo na for the Air Force, uh, we need more military aircraft. Um, to, to bring in and out of the combat zones our men and women. And tama sinabi nga ni, ni um, si JV, uh, Air Sito, Senator JV earlier, that we have choppers, the so called from Poland. I've never, I don't see them flying anymore. I don't know if they still fly. Unfortunately, <clears throat> what we need probably are uh, attack helicopters to support the problem of internal security. And um, I'd like to address this now to Secretary Lorenzana. Sir, do you see a deficiency? May nakikita ba kayong problema? Bilang, nandito po kami bilang mamabatas, gusto namin papakinggan sa inyo kung paano pa natin mapatibay, mapatibay no? not water down, as Secretary uh, uh, Jokno said, but strengthen the Procurement Act, but allowing <clears throat> the best equipment for our armed forces. Do you see any problems now in your stint two years on as Department of National Defense. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Senator, ang nakikita lang namin dyan ay yung uh, lowest uh, bids na yan. Kailangan siguro, I don't know how to go about it kasi until we, that, that, that uh, portions of the law is there, hindi tayo makaka, makaka hindi, hindi ka maka uh, establish ng brand na gusto mo. Kailangan specification lang. Tapos, pag kayong magbibid na yung mga proponents, for as long as they satisfy the minimum required, okay na sila. So, I don't know how you are going to go about it so that we can uh, say na ito ang gusto namin ma ma maganda ito. 
believe Secretary Jock Lourdes. Okay, ang sagot po dyan ay depende po sa bid specification eh. Pag nag -bid, naglagay ka ng spec na pinakamura, ay eh, yun talaga makukuha mo. No? Uh, so, ang isa kong uh, pwede dyan, <laughs> eh kasi kung halimbawa ang spec mo talaga eh, ganitong klaseng uh, pen lang, no? eh mas gusto mo yung higher. In fact, that has been done before. Yung sa ASEAN, nakapag-bid sila na mas mataas na klaseng kotse. Hindi naman ex na kotse lang eh, kung pwede namang Mercedes-Benz kung gusto mo. No? Just specify the put, put the specs. In fact, may isipin na namin dyan na para rin sa bookstore o sa, sa office supplies, no? specify mo low or cheap or medium, medium price, high price. Mamimili na yun yung, yung, uh, yung opisina. Hindi, na, hindi kayo limited doon sa murang uh, supply lang. No? In fact, inisip na rin namin, in fact, there's a pending executive order, a draft of an executive order, na yung kotse, for example, ilalagay na lang natin sa common supplies, common equipment. So, mamimili ka na lang doon kung ano gusto mong kotse. Gusto mo ng Ford, kung gusto mo ng Toyota, gusto mo yung Dodge, doon ka na lang mamimili. In the same manner na yung mga uh, common office supplies, chinecheck na lang naman nila ngayon. Tsaka yung require din po namin siguro yung lahat na kotse natin, itim ang kulay. No? Kasi lahat naman sa mga government offices talaga, US, Japan, China, government cars, itim. Oh, tama ba yan? Ganun po. We're moving in that direction. Pwede po natin gawin yan. Thank you, Secretary. Yeah, because for the armed forces kasi, uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, what necessarily may, may be the same apples to apples comparison. For example, you buy firearms, uh, they have the same specifications, but one is combat proven, has been a proven platform for 20 years, and one is a new uh, manufacturer, same price, apples to apples. Minsan ang gusto na ating mga kasamahan sa armed forces ay ang combat tested na, dahil iba po yung conditions under combat. And I guess also when it comes to systems, um, Air Force, lalo na Navy, when we have to hide from our enemy in, in the oceans, they want to have radar systems that are have been tried and proven and utilized by a large number of navies uh, in in the world, no, in the sphere of defense. Um, so with that, lang, uh, Secretary, uh, you have a comment, Secretary. Yes, uh, Senator, uh, Mr. Chairman, nandito man lang tayo sa procurement law, no? Uh, we would like to see that uh, the procurement law should also give preference to the local manufacturers. Sila muna, sila muna ang tingnan natin kung kaya nilang supplyan yung ating pangangilangan bago tayo lumabas. That is the only way we can improve our local industries. Ama, kasi pwede gawin yan sa Subic. Subic Shipyard. Magaling ang gumagawa ng mga barko dun. So I'm told my time is up. Again, uh, thank you very much, Secretary Lanzana. Thank you very much, Secretary Jokno. Secretary Bongo. Huwag kang mag-alala, lahat po kami uh, biktima ng fake news. Kaya, you have, our, you have our, as, far, as far as I'm concerned, you have my support as a man of integrity. Mabuhay po kayo. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, uh, Senator Subiri. <clears throat> now, we have uh, six more senators who want to ask questions. But uh, Senator uh, Risa Hontiveros has agreed to allow Secretary Lorenzana to make his PowerPoint presentation. We have 53 minutes to go because we have a rule that when we hold this is the hearings in the plenary hall, we end at uh, 2 o'clock para we have time to rearrange. Now, uh, the chair just has a request for uh, Vice Admiral Mercado no? and Commodore Villa. You have uh, expressed or signified your intention to make presentations also, no? Without prejudice to whether we adjourn or we suspend the hearings, can I, can the chair request you, for time management purposes, to provide all the senators with a copy of your PowerPoint presentation? Pagbigyan na lang muna natin si Secretary Lorenzana, no? Para kung ituli natin yung hearing, then the senators will have a, a better overview. Squad leader kasi. Squad leader ni... Would you have uh, violent objections? No objection, Your Honor. Thank you. So, Secretary Lorenzana will make his uh, PowerPoint presentation, and then the following will be the order of questions, no? With the reminder that we have now 52 minutes to go. After uh, the SND's presentation, Senator Rontiveros, 
Senator Villanueva, Senator Angara, Senator Legarda, Senator Gordon, Senator Gatsalyan, and lastly, Senator Grace Pong. Senator yes, sir. Uh, meron ako kasing kanina, sir, na opening statement. Basahin ko na lang ngayon para marunig naman ninyo. Pinag pinaglamayan ko kagabi ito, eh. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, with the permission of Secretary Lorenzana, uh, Senator Subiri, please. Just 30 seconds. I forgot to read the no manifesto of support of solidarity. These are the men and women of the Navy who sent me a manifesto of support, a copy, as a, uh, I'd like to submit this to the committee as part of their records. About 300 or so, hundreds of officers, both incumbent and uh, retired, in full support of the Navy modernization program. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank thank you. So. Sorry, my apologies. So Second entered order. into the record. Okay, sir. Secretary yes, Lorenzana, please. Uh, Senator uh, Gregorio Ratan, sir, the chairman of the Senate uh, Committee on National Defense and Security, members of the committee, fellow civil servants, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon. On behalf of the Defense Department, I would like to thank the committee for conducting this inquiry on the status of the AFP modernization program, and particularly on the acquisition of two Philippine Navy frigates, which has recently come into question and inadvertently become the subject of much controversy. And faced by all the accusations, allegations, and malicious stories, we have come here today at the gracious invitation of the August body to shed light on the two aforementioned subjects of this inquiry and to present the facts. We at the Department of National Defense strongly believe that you, our nation's lawmakers, and the entire Filipino nation deserve no less than the truth, for according to uh, the Holy Book, and the truth shall set us free. Free from doubt, free from falsehoods, free from the hypocrisies and hidden agendas and interest of certain individuals and groups. Up until a few years ago, because of our own neglect, we failed to raise our defense capabilities and capacity to the level required to protect our territory. Finally, we are now beginning to see a true build-up of our armed forces capability. We, like every Filipinos, would like to see that build-up continue so that we as a nation will have security, stability, and peace. For the first time in our nation's history, we have a chance to own a modern state-of-the-art military hardware, such as the two frigates which we are acquiring for the Philippine Navy for the first time ever. This is the biggest single procurement so far in the history of the AFP, and I signed the contract. Aside from their impressive offensive and defensive capabilities, they will serve as a signing symbol of our people who come from a proud race of seafarers and highlights our ability to defend our seas and territories. They will also serve as a manifestation of our country's march toward real independence and self-determination. Unfortunately, it appears that there is a concerted effort by some, by some to cast doubt on the acquisition project, the entire procurement system and the people behind it, even calling for the frigate project's cancellation. As our presentation will show later, the frigate project is above board and should have proceeded as a schedule, if not for the meddling of a certain individual and its strange fixation on a certain product. Your Honours, the issues thrown against the frigate acquisition project is hurting the very institution that is tasked to defend our country from internal and external threats. Because of personal interest, the Philippine Navy and the AF in general have been negatively affected, casting shadow on the positive accomplishments we have accumulated over the years as an institution. Your Honours, during the course of the proceedings, we will establish the following, that the completion of our modernization program, particularly the frigate acquisition program, is essential to our nation's total defense. Thus, the project should not be delayed, especially in the light of our evolving external security threats. But the Department of National Defense is ensuring that the procurement process for the frigates are done and, completely, and completed strictly in accordance with our laws, namely the Public Act 9184 and the Public Act 10349. That there was a deliberate attempt to delay or stop the completion of this important project by no less than the former flag officer in command, Vice Admiral Ronald Joseph Mercado. That Vice Admiral Mercado was insistent in his desire to enforce his will on the builder of the frigates, Hyundai to install a specific brand of combat management system, or CMS, in the two frigates, which is clearly prohibited under our procurement law. That on similar locations, 
Vice Admiral Mercado challenged and observed the authority of the Secretary of National Defense. That's us directing the uh, owner's team in, uh, in, in, uh, in, in Korea. That Vice Admiral Mercado presently exerted this influence on the project management team and intervened in the processes and outcome of the project. That he, th that he threatened to have the contract cancelled uh, if his Secretary Lorenzana, uh, uh, is there any way you can adjust the mic or bring it closer to you? Para, uh, yes, sir. Uh, some of these yes, sir. senators were commenting that we need to understand your presentation. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. That he threatened to, to, to have the contract cancelled if his preferred team was not uh, installed. That the loss of trust and confidence of the Secretary of National Defense resulting from his actions leading to insubordination was the reason for his relief as flag officer in command. That at no instance did the office of the President and our special assistant or to the President, Christopher Bongo, or anyone from the presidential management staff or anyone outside the, uh, the defense attempted to influence the frigate acquisition project. That if there is anyone who tried to influence the frigate project as early as the middle of 2016, it is no other than Vice Admiral Mercado. Your Honor's details of the aforementioned will be presented to you during the hearing. It is our hope that at the end of today's proceedings, you will have a greater and clearer appreciation of the facts pertaining to the AFP modernization program, and in particular, the frigate acquisition project. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Now, sir, we can we show the uh, presentation. Uh, how many minutes is the... Around, around 8 to 10 minutes, Your Honor. Thank you, pardon. Uh, around 8 to 10 minutes, Your eight Honor. 8 to 10 minutes. Yes, okay, please proceed. Uh, by the way, before we proceed, no? to Vice Admiral uh, Mercado and uh, Conor Villa, no? mamaya, pag may time pa, <clears throat> after all the senators have asked, no? we might give you a chance to make your presentation. But Mr. Subject Chairman. to the available time because Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes, uh, Senator Gordon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted, wondered if we could be presented all these PowerPoints ahead of time. There are three of them that want to present a PowerPoint, and that eats up on our ability to be able to ask the right questions. Now, if this had been presented beforehand, we could ask questions. Uh, so, may I suggest? that we ask them not to submit the PowerPoint now, but to submit to us a hard copy, and should there be any reason to open the PowerPoint so that everybody can take a look at it, we can ask the right questions. Otherwise, Mr. President, Mr. Chairman, we would be completely using up the time, and I really would like to ask some questions on the matter, as I'm sure the other senators have, Mr. President. So may I suggest that uh, the PowerPoints we submitted so that our staffs can watch it in our own time, in our own offices, and then we can ask questions referring to the PowerPoints later on, if, the, if they're amenable, unless this is, a, this is a deal breaker, so to speak. Uh, Senator Gordon, we have actually made that uh, proposal already, the resource persons, and they will comply. Thank you. So we, can we proceed with the... Y yes. Line of uh, questioning by the senators, Mr. President. Uh, uh, before that, uh, Senator Gordon, uh, Rear Admiral Empedrad will make a an eight to ten minute PowerPoint presentation. That's precisely why I asked that. Uh, why I raised the point uh, because di na tayo abot makapagtano, makakalimutan yan. Pero kung papadala nyo sa amin yung PowerPoint at the next hearing, we can ask you cogent questions. In fairness to the effort, as, said, as Secretary Lorenzana said, he spent the midnight oil, and then we cannot ask the proper questions. If we're given this ahead of time, then we can ask the proper questions while we open it referring to the PowerPoint when we ask the right questions in the future. That's all, Mr. President, Chair. Are there uh, any objections to that uh, proposal from Senator Gordon, from the committee members? Uh, hearing none. So, uh, Secretary Lorenzana and Rear Admiral Empedrad and, submit. Uh, and your uh, PowerPoint presentations. And Admiral Mercado, I think, has a presentation as well. Yes. So the same, the same caveat. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, having said that, uh, Senator Ontiveros is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, bilang miembro po ng committee ito, uh, bilang proud sister ng isang opisyal ng Philippine Navy Marines, uh, huya. 
at bilang uh, mista ng FOIC, si Rear Admiral Bob M. Pedrad. Just a very brief opening statement, Mr. Chair. The Philippines is a maritime nation, being an archipelago of some 7,641 islands and possessing one of the longest coastlines of any nation in the world. The Philippines has no choice but to be a maritime nation. And to be a maritime nation, perhaps even one day a maritime power, a strong modern navy is paramount. Unfortunately, up until the present day, our navy has subsisted largely on hand-me-downs. That's why, Mr. Chairman, the Frigate Acquisition Program is so important.